Wir freuen uns auf ein gutes Spiel und äh, wir beginnen mit den Gästen, die deutsche Nationalmannschaft heute mal wieder zu Gast im eigenen Stadion. Und wir begrüßen den Coaching-Staff der deutschen Nationalmannschaft, angeführt von Manager Steve Jansen. Die Coaches, Kleinen, Chris Howard, Philipp Howard, Markus Winkler und Clemen Tschuschowski. Uh, by games so, uh, over the next over the next uh, two days. So as they introduce some of the players who are coming out in the field, seem lining up down the uh, the first base side. Uh, let's let's talk about before we talk about the lineups. Let's talk about some of the keys to the game. Um, now I've. I've come up with a few as I was reading over some notes for this game, and, and the one thing, uh, and maybe you can add to this, Ole, as we go along. Now, for Germany, I've noted that the uh, 
already that Italy's hitters are averaging as a team 339. Uh, and particularly a player, Chris Colabello, who I know well as a Blue Jays when he played uh, for a number of years uh, in Toronto. Uh, he has uh, 14 RBIs. He's leading this tournament with that, and he's got three home runs. So uh, for Germany, you've got to contain those, um, those hitters. Now for Italy, keep that pitching strong, I guess, would be the key to their game. They've got a team ERA. Well, they have 1.37. This, this is incredible. Yeah, I mean, they really have the package of the hitting and the pitching, and that's um, that's how you win ball games, really. Uh, strong in the offense and um, strong in the defense, uh, at least with the pitching. Um, and I'm guessing that's being backed up from what I saw. I was able to watch a bit of the um, opening, one of the opening games, which was Italy against France. And uh, the defense also looked really strong. So um, that's, that's the key. Uh, on the other side, the Germans um, have been struggling in both, I think in the pitching and the hitting. Uh, they had a couple opportunities against Czech Republic uh, that they didn't capitalize on. And um, so that they're going to really have to turn that around uh, today. Is, uh, this game is not one for a uh, good, good time to make mistakes. It's really a time to, uh, to pull it together and, uh, and get a win. Absolutely. The, this is the time for the hitters to step up. You've said it. Let's talk about these lineups. What do you have for us, Oli? Well, they just, they've done the Germans, and I will start with them. They're, um, we have the lineup here. So um, starting pitcher, is it we had a different starting pitcher. What's on the list here? Hold on one second. Uh, according to our latest, uh, the starting pitcher will be uh, Schultz. Um, for Germany, Philip Schultz, and he will no left field. Anyway, we'll we'll, we'll I'm just going to go through the order. We'll we'll clear up the pitcher in a minute. So, uh, batting first for Germany is and playing left field is Philip Schultz. Batting second is Simon Göring, that's the catcher. Uh, battle uh, batting third is Donald Lutz, the designated hitter. Fourth is Max Bolt, the first baseman. Fifth is Pascal Amon, the right fielder. Uh, six is Eric Brink, the third baseman. Uh, capital here, so it's his home, sta home, uh, home stadium here. And number seven is Marco Cardoso, uh, playing second base. Eight is Alexander Schmidt, shortstop. And ninth is Kevin Kotowski, number, number, um, batting, and he's playing center field. So we're going to take a quick pause for the, for the anthems. So we'll be right back.
So now we've gotten through the uh, German and Italian anthems. Uh, I have time now. Oh, sorry. We did, we did clear that up with the pitcher. The starting pitcher for the German team will be number 34, Luke Sommer. And just quickly go through the lineup here for the Italian team. Um, we have uh, batting in, uh, in leadoff. We have Logan Grisby. Uh, we have in second uh, second spot we have Nicholas Rimmel. In the third spot we have Anorbel Marquez. Then we have in the f in cleanup we have Sven Schuler. Oh no, I'm reading the wrong thing here. Hold on. Now we got it right. Here it is. This is the one I was looking for. Okay, here it is for Italy. We have Andrew Maggi um, batting first. Then Alessandro Vaglio batting second. John Andreoli in the third position. Chris Colabello in the fourth position. Giuseppe Mazzanti in fifth. Batting fifth. And batting sixth, we have Alberto Mineo. Batting seventh, we have Mauia Reginato. In the eighth spot, we have Federico Celli. In the ninth spot, we have Sebastiano Pora. And pitching is Alas Alessandro Nastri. Thank you very much. Oh, that was, uh, I was happy to let you do the lineups because uh, so some of these names are a little bit tricky. I mean we've, been, we've been adjusting all week to the different names from the different nationalities. So again, I always say apologies uh, to the Italian fans listening in. Uh, if I if I butchered any of those names, but I think I do. I think we got it pretty I, close. I think we're getting close, and we'll we'll get even closer as the game goes on. We've got Maestri warming up on the mound. Uh, we've got fans still coming into the uh, to the grounds, and everybody is excited for this. Of course, very important game. Uh, Germany uh, needs to win this game, as we were saying before, because. You don't want to have to uh, get, go down uh, into that next pool of four, trying to vie for that uh, uh, for that fifth place position. Obviously, it's a lot easier to uh, go through uh, an easier route. But they face a tough opponent, as we were saying before. Now, uh, the weather today, uh, we should say something about that. If you're not here, um, you might want to know that the weather is which has been rainy, especially last weekend and, and sort of throughout the day, seems to be quite clear. Uh, only I'm not sure if you heard anything different, but it looks to me like we should be able to avoid some rain. From no, there the was game. some chance of rain earlier A today, but it looked it looks like it's going to be okay for the rest of the evening. Oh, well, that's good. And no, and, um, no, no wind to see, uh, speak no of wind, that I see. No as wind well. at all. It's supposed to uh, be nice through the weekend, so that's a, a good way to wrap up uh, wrap up the tournament with some nice weather here in Bonn. Absolutely. I, I can't think of a better way to spend Friday night than watching the European Baseball Championships and two great teams such as this. So we're we are here watching uh, Philip Schultz step up to the plate. Uh, he plays, as we were saying before, uh, left field. And his batting average this uh, in this uh, tournament is 333. So uh, if they're going to start hitting only, they need to start now. And with your 333 hitter at the plate, good time to start. Pitch comes in for a strike. Uh, oh, and one count. Schultz. Yeah, it would be a good way to, to start off the game with a with a hit. Well, he sets and delivers, and a and solid a hit right into center field. So. Yeah, that was a nice nice swing. S second second pitch looked like a fastball right down the middle, and he just pulled it right up the middle, perfect. Perfect single to start off the first inning. Well, I like to think that he's following our game plan. Only uh, it was great. Maybe he's listening. We have to speak even a little bit louder for the rest of them. So now that we, uh, we've we got a runner on first, Schultz, we have coming to the plate, Simon Goering. He is playing uh, in the catcher's position today, and he's batting 286. Yeah, Schultz. Goering's been a, a, a 
been really um, really consistent behind the plate, um, hitting 286. So also not bad for hitting this week. And a chopper foul down the third base line. Schultz has to go back to first. But you can see just right off the bat, they're they're swinging right off the bat. They're swinging their bats. Yeah, that's right. And I, I mean, it's not a bad strategy to have. Uh, you let that pitcher settle in early in the game, and you can fall behind rather easily once he gets into his groove. Throw over to first, back safely, no problem. Uh, but w if you are aggressive at the start, uh, you throws him off, doesn't let him settle in. So, Maestri now with an 0-1 count on Goring. He sets and. Steps off the mound as, steps off the rubber as Schultz takes a step back to first base. You hear the crowd starting to get into it. Bond fans, are Yeah, the crowd's German been fans. really great um, this, this week. Even with the bad weather, we had, we had the, the fans were here every day. It's nice to see. It's, it's great, as I was saying throughout the season, uh, you know, doing the, the Capitals games, it's great to get uh, Germans out to the games. I know the game has been played here in Bonn for quite a while, and yet it's still relatively unknown on a wide scale in, in Germany. So it's great to get the uh, to get the fans. It is, out but here. that I think is part of the excitement that brings people out to to watch and see something new. Absolutely. Throwback to first, and uh, Schultz back again. Maestri sets. And delivery and a solid base hit into center field. The Schultz round second stops at second. So, Bond, nobody out two on early on here in this first inning. They have something going, just as we were saying. This is uh, one of the keys that they need to uh, take advantage of here in the game. And it, it, it looked like that was on the off speed pitch. So, he uh, looks like they're hitting the fastball and the, and the off speed. So that's a good sign for the beginning. It could also be that this was a bit of pitching scouting by the Germans. They've been watching these pitchers. A lot of them, this is their second or third uh, time on the mound for this week. So everyone's a bit familiar. Um, so they've been doing their homework. That's right. So two on, nobody out here in the uh, top of the first inning. As Maestri uh, said to deliver to Donald Lute, who is uh, the DH for today's game with a batting average of 158. And the catcher goes out to the mound after that uh, ball is thrown, maybe just to get set on some signs and make sure they're on the same page, uh, especially when you've got two on this early in the, in the game. They want to make sure they don't let things uh, get too out of hand early on, make sure they're, they're set on what signs uh, he's putting Lutz, down. Lutz hasn't been uh, hitting very well this tournament, but he's um, one of the most experienced players on the German team. So. Uh, if this is a, a game for him to kind of step it up, uh, it's, t it's tonight. So Gehring's taking a very good lead at first base with first baseman off. And a hit deep into center field. And over the center fielder's head. And the runner's round. And Schultz scores. Gehring coming around, going home to throw home. He slides, he scores as the ball goes to the backstop. As Lutz goes down to third base easily, no throw. So, two runs in here on the top of the first inning. Nobody out. Germany has struck blood first. Yeah, it was funny. Exactly what we said they needed to do. They came out and did it. And then uh, Lutz, um, I mean, that was about... Um, a yard or a meter shy of a, of a home run, so he crushed that thing. And it, 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 it wasn't more than maybe 15 meters. It was, a, it was a hard hit line drive. That's right. If you look at that replay, it just made it. Like it, was, it was a solid hit right on a line. No play at home as, uh, as uh, Garen came in to hit behind. So 2 nothing, top of the first. Up to bat is Max Bold, the cleanup hitter. He's playing uh, first base today. Batting average of 278. So, Lute certainly, I, we were saying, you were saying actually early, Ollie, that, that he is a good hitter, that the average didn't reflect it, and that certainly was true. Well, with some power hitters, we know they, they're not always uh, consistent, but um, you leave them there because they do come. And a chopper to short, short, bobbles it, throws it on to first. He's out, but the run scores. 
Three runs in now for Germany. So yeah. give. Oh. This is exactly the the kind of hitting that that has been missing from um, from the Germans uh, at some other key games this week. Um, not managing to get people uh, stranding people on the base, even though they're sitting in the scoring position. So this is a is a great start for the German team uh, with only one out here. Indeed, Pascal and on at the plate, uh, hitting a very healthy 350. Uh, he's playing right field today. So base is now cleared as Anon steps in, and there is a ball to the backstop, and the b uh, count is 2-0 and oh on the play. Get, this certainly gets the Bonn fans into it, Oli. It's, it's nice uh, to have the, fan, the fans here in Bonn, uh, German fans, into this game early on. And a check swing down to third. Said he went around. I can barely see. We got a bit of a covering here with some tarpaulin in the umpire exists on a little square beneath me. So, caught that, and we are looking at a two and one count now on and on. One out here in the top of the first pitch, strike. <laughs> And a hit, deep right field. In the right fielder looks up, it's gone. Home run for Pascal Anon. Make that four runs for Germany here in the top of the first inning with only one out. Now, that, look, Ali, that was a towering shot as the fans out there show the ball out there beyond the uh, fence in right field. Yeah, that was just another line drive power shot and again not you see a lot of these home runs are hit sky high uh, these were basically bullets uh, that was like a bullet into those trees up there and landed a good uh, seven eight meters up into that tree so that was a that was a shot indeed and now we've got the the manager of uh, Italy coming out to have a little chat with Maestri, who is, uh, I think, safely, safe to say, uh, struggling early on here. Yeah, this really, this game couldn't have started any better uh, for, for the Germans. It's really, uh, even looking forward, you know, they have, uh, every team will have to play again tomorrow. So um, it can't be that it's not like a normal MLB game where you can just, oh, they'll put in a relief pitcher uh, because um, those one sitting in relief or available or waiting to pitch tomorrow or the next day. So uh, this is not, uh, this is a slightly different strategy happening here in terms of pitching. Absolutely. Absolutely right about the pitcher's swing. A mighty swing and a miss now by uh, Eric Brank, who is playing third base. I obviously known here at, at in Bonn. Uh, he's not been hitting great this, this playoffs at a 0 62 average to, as he takes the second strike uh, on that. 0-2 oh now is the count, one out here in the top of the first. If you're just joining us, Bond has exploded for four runs, topped off by a home run, uh, just hit by Pascal Anon. And a ball, count one and two. Yeah, Brink, Brink has been uh, struggling the whole, the whole week um, and um, still hitting in the sixth position, so he's also one of the more experienced guys out there. Foul back, count remains, one and two. But he's been a solid, uh, he's been playing some great third base, uh, made, making some really good plays on defense. Pitch comes in, hits Brink on the shoulder, and Brink will, uh, doesn't even look at the pitch, it just jogs right down to first base. Maestri obviously having a, a tough time of it here in the, in the first inning. He came in with a 450 average, so, um, he has uh, had some challenges in the past, I would guess, uh, as we were saying, that Italy has a very good team average coming in. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. The manager's been at once. We'll see what comes on. In any case, we've got Eric Brank down at first base, who was hit by a pitch, and Marco Cardoso, who has come to the plate. And Cardoso's having a very good season. He's batting 550 playoffs, I should say. Bunt popped up to third, caught on the run by the third baseman, and... Uh, 
uh, Brent goes back to first base. Two out here in the first. Yeah, not uh, not sure about the bunting when everyone's been yeah. hitting them so hard, uh, but they're trying to make the sacrifice, maybe the surprise. Uh, maybe he saw the third baseman was playing way back, but uh, that was uh, the result of that was an out, and unfortunately didn't advance the runner. Uh, so we're now with a man on first and two outs. That's right. Alex Schmidt comes to the plate. Alex Schmidt's hitting 176 as batting average. So got uh, Brank over at first base. Taking a good lead. Swing. And... Uh, I don't think he went around on that no, one. They didn't I check uh, with the first base that, umpire. That's so right. That's, that's a ball. That's a ball. Ball one. 1-0 and oh is the count. Schmidt plays for Regensburg in the regular season. Swing and a foul back. We're now looking at 1-1 one count. So the Bond Bats have come alive as we uh, expected they could. And Maestri trying to get out of this inning. He sets on the mound, delivers. Throw down to first, and he's safe. Frank gets back. A little uh, closer than I thought it would be. Yeah, and I think it was uh, was it on Wednesday against Czech Republic. He did get caught. Um, he was he was, I don't know if he was not paying attention, but he did get picked off by the by the catcher. So I'm sure Italy had had uh, knew about that and were. And a strike. Keeping an eye on Brank just to make you know trying to keep him close. That's right. Two and two is the count. Top of the first inning. As Schmidt now looks down to the third base uh, coach for the sign. 2-2 Two -two pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that ends the top of the first inning. But Bond strikes for four runs. And we will head to the bottom of the first. The score is 4 nothing. Bond. We'll be right back. And welcome back here to a lovely Bonn on the banks of the Rhine for the European Baseball Championships, Italy versus Germany. And Germany is winning this in the bottom of the first inning, four to nothing so far. What can you tell us about the uh, the pitcher for Team Germany, Oli? Uh, well, Luke Sommer is, um, has, is, was raised in the U.S., uh, so I'm guessing that's where he learned to play a bit of ball. And uh, is a pitcher for Heidenheim, the Heidekopfer, 
who was playing, uh, who uh, beat Bonn in the finals of the German, um, for the German national title for the Bundesliga. Maggie steps up to the plate, takes a strike from Zoma. And zoma has been around for a while, so he's been, he's been playing for the national team since 2012. So another one of these experienced players on the team. That's seven years of great experience indeed. And a pop high, but foul on the first base side. So Maggie's going to be batting first uh, today. Uh, he'll be followed by uh, Vaglio, who's batting second. And then uh, in this inning, we'll see uh, Andriotti uh, following him uh, playing center field as well. Maggie batting 250 in these playoffs, wearing the number 37. He's uh, in the hole, an 0-2 count. Zummer delivers, and a foul along the first base line, and they're running to grab it, and he gets it. Gets to the ball easily. Yeah, that well. was a nice place by, uh, play by Cardoso, making, uh, ha making the long run to get grab that. It looked like it was going to fall foul, but he uh, was able to catch that. Yes, indeed. Cardoso can hit, he can field. He made it look easy. So coming up to the play, we've got uh, we've got Alessandro Vaglio. He's playing second base today and batting again a healthy 333. Zomer looks in at his catcher and delivers and takes a strike. 0 and 1. Yeah, that looked like uh, the curveball there. Uh, looks to have control of it. It's been a pitch that's been getting away from some pitchers this week. Strike two. There it is again. In the uh, hole, that's especially right. Especially with the cold weather. Uh, it's been a tough week for pitchers. Well, I can imagine last weekend would have been tough. All that rain as well. Pitch comes in for a ball. One and two's count. Yeah, it was true September baseball here. Uh. <laughs> Indeed. Zorn delivers. And the Bond fans complain. But... We've now got a two and two count. It was a ball. Zummer sporting a very cool mustache. Looks like he comes straight out of 1976. And there's a hit into a deep field. We're sort of out of our vision in a, uh, yeah, that and he catches it. Caught by left, left field of Philip Schultz right on the warning track. Um, so that's a quick two outs for the, for the German team. First uh, two up, two down. Yeah, a little hard to see down the left field line. We've got a camera in front of us as well. Uh, so nice play now that we see the, the replay by Philip Schultz. Zoma delivers to number 44. He gives uh, number 44 a strike. And uh, Andriotti is, Andrioli is the uh, center fielder today at bat, batting four. 38. And he comes in low with that pitch. 1 and 1. Zomer sets. High pop up. Is it going to go foul or is Cardoso? I believe Cardoso grabbed that. No, I think no. That, that was uh, Max Bolt. First um, baseman. Nice play by Bull. In any case, no runs uh, and no hits by the Italian team as we head to the top of the second for nothing for Germany. We'll be right back. juckenden Augen, nicht mit Purposan, den innovativen Kapseln zur oralen Einnahme. Sei voll da, wenn es drauf ankommt. Erhältlich in Apotheken und unter shop.zanoctua.com
And uh, coming to the plate is Kevin Katowski. He's playing center field today for Team Germany. Excuse me, he's batting 312 on the season. Uh, this is the ninth hitter in the order, and already top of the second, we're going to the to the first. Uh, will be followed by Philip Schultz and, and Gehring in the inning. Schultz bunt takes a strike. Yeah, that was probably take all the way, but um, keeping the infielders on their toes. See if uh, Bond can keep up the momentum from last uh, the last setback. As he comes in for a strike, 0-2 uh, oh in the hole now. Oh. Foul back, the count remains 0-2. Oh now Kotowski, he plays in uh, from the Mines Athletics and He's been playing in the second uh, Bundesliga division um, for the throughout the year. Yeah, he's also coach. Indeed. Batting 312. I wonder how hard that is. I mean, to be coaching and batting, it's it, you're wearing two hats in a game. I mean, of course, uh, people like Pete Rose did it for a, for a while as well. And, and in the past, it was a very popular thing to do, is to have a player coach. And he swings and misses and goes down on strikes. Cause yeah, that was a nice, a nice pitch um, by Maestri there. Kept it inside. It was just off the place. Um, and uh, it was a really tough, tough ball to hit. Indeed. So that brings the top of the, us to the top of the order again for Team Germany. And Philip Schultz steps to the plate. Uh, he is the one that got things kicked off in the, in the top of the first when they uh, went on to score four runs. Swing and a high pop-up. Third baseman camps under it and takes it easily. That uh, third baseman, Giuseppe Mazzanti, caught that. So, two yeah. away quite quickly. They're still being aggressive uh, with the swings, but not, uh, not not as lucky, or I guess a bit unlucky in this inning. Yeah, indeed. Let's see, let's see if uh, Maestri gets his uh, gets uh, gets his rhythm a bit uh, after the first inning. There. I think you're right. I, somebody probably whispered into his ear at the dugout just below us. They're all over those first pitches, and again we see a first uh, pitch swing. No, he's keeping with the fastball for the first pitch. So if they, uh, I think these guys know it's coming. Uh, it's a good chance it's going to be a strike. So. That is uh, the batter, Simon Goering, at the plate. Uh, Goering is batting 333 on the season, and he had a single in his last at bat. Yeah, so he took that inside for a ball, one and one. And a swing chopper down to the shortstop. Handles it, throws it on to first base, and just like that, we've got three outs. And the score remains uh, for nothing here, uh, Team Germany over Team Italy. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Bonn, uh, Germany, and Team uh, Germany is beating Team Italy right now, four to nothing. Here as we head to the bottom of the second inning, and up to the bat comes a player I certainly know well from the uh, from the past, uh, number 25, Chris Colabello. He played for the Toronto Blue Jays for a number of years, of course, in that uh, really great run in 2015. Uh, very exciting. He had a great year that year. So Luke Summer still pitching uh, on the mound. Facing off against Colabello, who has 14 runs batted in, uh, leading this whole tournament. Check swing, the umpire down at first base as he indeed went around. So the count is 0 and 1. Colabello, if I remember correctly from the stats, I'll have to double check these to make sure. I think he has four home runs uh, on the in this playoffs as well. So he's a power bat, and he shows it there, but caught by the shortstop, Alexander Schmidt. Yeah, really connected on that one, but it was right at the shortstop. So good contact, but uh, placement, uh, unlucky placement, I guess, on that on that swing. Indeed, good reflexes down there, of course, uh, at shortstop by Schmidt. That'll bring up to the plate Giuseppe Mazzanti, who is wearing number 49 today and batting 304. He's playing third base today. First pitch comes in for a strike. None of these players batting for Italy are slouches at the plate, Only They're all very healthy uh, averages. Yeah, um, also with the pitching, I don't know what the strategy was when you went up at Italy, whether or not they put up their best pitchers or, or not. This is uh, one of the strategies for this tournament. Um, but they've definitely been hitting the ball really well. Uh, I've seen some, um, some pictures of uh, some of the coaches there uh, with radar guns, and there's been uh, plenty of pitches above 90s uh, being pitched by uh, uh, pitchers on, on many of the different teams. So... Yeah, there are third. no. There's been no teams here without uh, without strong pitchers. I don't think they would have made it this far. No, it's, there's some very good speed on on these pitches for sure. Uh, during the regular season, I kind of sit up here, and I think to myself, eh, maybe I could step in a against a couple of these guys. And I watch this tournament. There's very few guys I think I would step in on uh, in something coming in at 90 plus. Tough to see, obviously. Summer delivers. Comes in high, and the count now is uh, full, three and two. But if they can hold the uh, hold the, the the batting down, this is a re that would really be uh, a big step for the for the German team. Yeah, they've got that veteran, and a single into uh, center uh, left field, and uh, Mazan uh, Mazanti finds himself at first base after that hit. So one on, one out here in the top of the second. And if I'm not Bottom of the second correct, that's the first hit uh, for, the, for the Italian that's team. That's the first hit, indeed. That'll bring to the plate uh, Alberto Mineo. He is uh, catching today and batting 267. So the runner on first base is Mizanzi. Summer delivers. Inside. 1 0. You were saying earlier Oli, that uh, Italy has won this tournament 10 times? Yeah, they've been, um, they've been almost to every European championship, but uh, they skipped for some reason. They missed 1967. Wow. And they've won the tournament 10 times. What happened in 67, Italy? You have to check the history books for that one. Exactly. So 1 1 is the count now on Mineo. But yeah, I mean, Italy has this great reputation. I'm from Canada, I, you're from the States, right? If I remember you saying so, and uh, Italy, always great players in the major leagues as well. Yeah, I remember a few years ago, uh, Mike Piazza, yeah. I'm a Met fan myself, and- uh, Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> lifelong, uh, you know, uh, suffering, long, lifelong suffering Mets fan. Uh, but uh, Mike Piazza also played uh, one or two years for the for the uh, for the Italian team after after his career had ended. Definitely. And a foul. 
We do have a few minor leagues players, but there's no, no major league players as they didn't get time off for, for the tournament. But um, some former players. Um, you talked about Colabello. He w was uh, playing the Jays and the Twins. Danny Valencia for Team Israel. Yeah. And a chopper into the right between second and short uh, single. So runners on first and second now with only one out here in the uh, bottom of the second inning. Mineo on first. Giuseppe Mazzanti is at second base, and that'll bring to the plate Reginato. He is the, uh, Mattia Reginato is the DH today. He's batting 250. So Summer's going to have to be careful here. You don't want to let, you, you know, when you're given a uh, 4 nothing lead, you don't want that to uh, be whittled away to anything much narrower. Yeah, and I think Summer will try and, uh, try and get a ground ball here so they can get out of the inning with a double play. Indeed, that would be ideal. Reginato steps in. Summer sets in the delivery. Yeah, it's a ball. So, starts him off with a 1-0 count. Runners not being held on too closely. Delivery fouled back, 1-1. One and one. Yeah, Summer's really been uh, doing a good job mixing up his pitches here. Uh, keeping the Italian team guessing at the plate. Right, you know these, this Italian team, they're no slouches, so each and every batter, you can't afford to relax on any one of them. Runners take their lead, summer sets. And a pop-up high again down the first baseline. Looks like it's headed for the stands, and it is. And uh, it's an empty area, so nobody got that ball on the fly. Runners go back to their positions. One out here in the bottom of the second inning. Yeah, there's been a lot of fly balls hit to the to the right side by the righties, so they're they're uh, swinging late at the ball, uh, which is a good a good sign for Summer. He's. Uh, do you have any idea what he's throwing? I, I do not. Like I said, uh, they, they might, we might be able to sneak back and, and mm -hmm. check with some of the other coaches there. Uh, they're monitoring all the pitchers so they can prepare, uh, prepare their strategy for their, ga uh, for their next games. Indeed, they're swinging late on most of these. So a chopper, <laughs> as we say that, a chopper down. No, down that was the off-speed pitch, so right. he was ahead of that one. <laughs> the exception that proves the rule. So runners go back. How many games have you have you had a chance to see Italy play a lot this week, Oli? Uh, I have not. Um, and like I said, I saw them play uh, France on the opening mm -hmm. uh, opening day, and it was a pretty close game until the fifth. I think there was a rain delay. That's uh, I saw the rest from home, and uh, they ended up uh, winning big. I don't have the score in, in front of me, but in the end, I think it was something like six. It was a pretty big. Yeah, sixteen to two. That's right. Uh, it was pretty tight up up until the fifth inning. I think it was 3-2. Right. No, they've won by some pretty impressive scores. And Somerset's. <coughs> and it's high. The count now is 3-2. and two. Full count now on Reginato. Reginato, uh, again, batting DH today. Runners on first and second. Only one out looking for the ground ball, uh, Summer is. He looks in at the catcher. Catcher thinks about it, delivers signs. Sets. And he strikes him out. The umpire took a second on that call, Oli, but he ultimately decided it was in the zone. And so he we went with the off-speed pitch, and, and he got him. I think he was probably expecting the fastball. Yeah. I see him nodding down here. It looks like he agreed that uh, uh, Reginato did, that that was a strike. Anyway, it is the ball. To, <laughs> I guess ultimately it is the umpire's decision. So that brings to the plate uh, Sebastiano Poma. He is playing left field. And according to this, he is... 
Uh, sorry, I, my mistake. Uh, Federico Celli is, is uh, batting. He's playing uh, right field today and batting 250. I'm jumping ahead. Uh, Palma, if uh, Celli is to uh, get on, would be the next batter. Sommer is sets with two runners on and two out. Strike. So he's fighting back this inning. Well, he's just got to keep going. If they're going to make some uh, nice hits like they did, you just got to keep to your strategy and keep pitching. Yeah, he's been around since uh, 2012, you're saying, and so he's certainly a resilient pitcher. That ball comes in uh, for a ball. Runner's not being held on, two out. Somers said some delivers. And a uh, late swing again, and that was fouled down the uh, first base side. Yeah, this is uh, the kind of game when you need a, an experienced pitcher on the mound. Uh, it's a lot of emotion here. They're the home field, host nation, the home fans, um, and this is the biggest uh, game of the tournament so far for, for both teams. Definitely. And you know Germany wants to play well for their for their fans here and make a great impression and of course go on without having to battle then for the fifth play spot if they were to lose today. And a swing and a miss. He strikes him out and he strikes the last two batters out and we will head to the top of the third inning with Germany ahead 4-0 over Team Italy. We'll be right back. And welcome back to uh, Bonn, Germany. Team Germany is beating Team Italy four to nothing. Um, Donald Lutz, uh, uh, Lutz is at the plate, and uh, he had a big hit. Uh, it was a triple. The, the uh, last was time a, he was at bat, a double. Then the, the oh, right hits him. Second hit batter in the game. Hits him on the foot, and it looks like it. Look, it's never fun. You get hit in the foot. Yeah, that was a that was a straight pitch right on a, his back foot there. That's right, and that and then you really see him jumping around on it. Really stinks. Those things can sting. That's right. So and that was the first pitch there. So uh, that he hit uh, Brink in the first inning. And uh, sent him down to first. Now, uh, now Lutz. That'll bring to the uh, plate Max Boltz. He was hitting 278. Uh, I, I'm corrected on that. He's batting 263 on the on the seat, uh, in these playoffs. In the tournament, yeah. Yeah, tournament. I keep saying playoffs. Yeah, that looks. I've had that happen. That is that. That's no fun. Yeah, I tell my kids. 
Baseballs are, are hard. They're going to hit you at some point, and it's not fun. That's but it's right. part of the game. Indeed it is. Rather the foot than the face, but it doesn't feel good either way. Yeah, I've had both. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the thing. I mean, you encourage kids to play. You want them to come out. But it, it you really, you. one of the things about baseball, it can seem to move slow at times. You have to pay attention so closely, especially if you're just learning. So, pitch comes in for a ball to Max Bolt. He's up playing first base today. Lutz. First base uh, is taking his lead up down at first base. Pitcher delivers. Swing and a miss. Yeah, that was a nice low pass ball Indeed. from my stream. So one and one is the count. So my Esther seemed to find his rhythm in the last inning. Let's see if they can uh, keep that up here. That's right. In the third. Pitches and eight off the shortstop's glove and a single. Bon, nobody out. Runners on first and second as Bolt finds his way to first base. Brings up Pascal Nunn, who of course had this monster home run to right field uh, in the last uh, in the last uh, in the first inning. Sorry. Oh, that was that was quite a quite a rocket out there to, uh, over the right field fence. Indeed. And on with that shot, batting 263 in this tournament. And that was a a, bi a big swing on that one. I think they're all expecting that first pitch mm -hmm. fastball, and they're, they're really making the, you know, their home run swings on that one. That's right. All lines count. Boots at second. Swing and a miss. So he finds himself in the hole at 0-2. I was saying that um, that Lutz is on second base. Max Bolt is on first. Nobody out here. Top of the third. Pitch. Swing and a miss. He strikes out. Seems like he got a, a, a bit of that. I thought I heard a... Yeah, he got a piece of it, but yeah. right into the glove. So that's an that's a easy third, third strike. And that'll bring up to the plate. Eric Brank. Eric Brank, who we, he was saying, we were saying earlier, hit by a pitch in his first at bat. Pitch is high. Want to know? Yeah, Brank's struggling this week uh, behind, uh, at the plate. Uh, so let's see how he uh, how he does today. He got hit by pitch, like you said, in the first uh, as first at bat. Yeah, we know the guy can hit. Well, we've been watching him doing it. All, we watched him do it all season. That's right. Here in Bonn, uh, Plato is a solid shortstop for the team. Well, third base here. Indeed, if you're going to hit, I guess the quarterfinals onwards is a good time to start. Maestri settles in and throws and throw down to first base. Ooh, if that was closer on the ba uh, runner side of the bag, he could have had a chance, but as it was, not on that side. Oh, well, that's good aggressive base running by the by the Germans. Um, those those balls can go can go past. Mm -hmm. That's one of those uh, less practice moves by the catcher. Yeah, you got to be you have pinpoint accuracy to do that one. Smitey swing and a miss uh, on on that pitch. A two and two count. Yeah, uh, to Brank. Looks down the third base coach. Quick set of signs and turns back to the runners. Lights are on here in uh, in Bond, in the stadium. Swing and foul back. Looks he like managed he to get a piece of that one and foul it straight back, so he stays in the. He was in here. He was on it though. You foul the, those ones that come fouled straight back. Usually those are ones that are on. Just miss. Almost hit the camera. Runners at first and second, top of the third, four nothing for Germany. Pitch comes in. 
and he strikes him out. Brent goes down on strikes, so that's two uh, strikeouts now in a row. Oh, they hit right on the outside corner there. That was a uh, uh, right borderline pitch, but the umpire called it a strike. Ooh. That was a close one. That was a tough one. That was a tough one for Brink. I'm with him on this one, and that's not me being a no, I looked fan outside. of the German team. That's uh, I looked outside from, from our angle. Indeed. Now, so bringing the plate, number three, uh, Marco Cardoso. Chris Cardoso, 550. Average on the season. Runners still on first and third. Maestri trying to get out of this situation, and he has struck the last two runners out. So um, he doesn't want to repeat, obviously, what happened in the first. So one strike, 0 oh 1 now on, on Cardoso. Throwing a foul back on the right hand side into that second um, field that is also being used for this uh, tournament as well. Uh, I've been watching them put it together, as I'm sure you have only throughout the throughout the regular season. It's quite uh, quite a bit of work, but they did a really great job, I think. Oh, they did a really... And, he, uh, it lo and it hits on the ground, and the runner comes around to score. So, 5 nothing going now in the top of the third inning. As we were in the middle of a discussion, Cardoso wraps one into center field for a single of the score run. Yeah, the, the center fielder, uh, Andrioli, got it on one hop, so he was able to keep um, uh, Max Bolt at second. So Lutz comes in Lutz to score. was yeah. able to score. Yeah, so Max, we now have Max Bolt on second. We've got Cardoso at first base. Alex Schmidt comes to the place. Uh, to the plate, and he's batting 176. Shortstop here today. Delivers, swing, and a miss. Yeah, Lutz has been wearing number 32 all week, and he's confusing me. He's got <laughs> a new number. Maybe there was a, a number mix up or something with the jersey, but um, that's why I always had to check who was just came home. I thought that was Donald Lutz, but he has a new number. Yeah, indeed. For the game. It, it's uh, it's tough. I'm so used to saying Bond Capitals as well as we do the Bond Capitals games. Uh, he says Germans, and he strikes about uh, leaving two on. So uh, Germany does come through with another run, five nothing Germany. Uh, they managed to get one off with Maestri, and we head to the bottom of the third inning, five nothing Germany. Um, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Barnes. Uh, five nothing Germany over Italy right now. Summer is uh, on the mound still for for Germany, having a uh, having not allowed uh, any runs as of yet. And that'll bring to the plate an interesting player, Sebastiano Poma, 
If we were just looking at the stats here, since he's batting a thousand, seven at bats, seven hits, and four runs. Four runs. So, batting nine makes me a little suspicious. Also has a double and a home run, so uh, he's been hitting well. Why are they hiding this guy at the bottom of the order? Well, he's only <laughs> had, compared to some of his other players with 20 and 21 at bats. And he, of course, squares around to bunt. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, a, it's a mystery and an enigma. Yeah. Well, he's only had the seven at bats. Maybe mm -hmm. he was injured or. Pitch comes in. Yeah, and strike. That's the off speed pitch. Nice, nice job by, yeah. by Luke Summer there. One and one. Maybe he doesn't like playing in the cold. That Maybe not. Summer sets and delivers, and it comes in for a strike. Some of the other teams, I know the, the, the Dutch team was especially complaining about the weather. Oh, those Dutch. With uh, a lot of their players coming from the Caribbean. Come on now. And swing and miss, he strikes him out. So he no longer has a 1,000 batting average. Summer K's him. He walks back to the dugout. That will bring to the play number 37. Top of the order, Andrew Maggi. Batting 250 on this season. I keep saying season, my apologies, that's tournament. And a hit. Not sure if it's got the legs to get out of here. Nope. And the uh, right fielder, uh, Pascal Anand, comes all the way over into center to grab that. Look, not too bad yeah, coming off the back. Short of the, short of the warning track there. Mm -hmm. So not enough uh, on that one. But, uh, but it's for the second out for the, for the German team. That's right. Making quick work of them so far in this inning. Two away. That'll bring to the plate. Alessandro Vaglio batting 333. Why do I have the feeling people in Italy right now are looking at their television sets, listening and laughing at the pronunciation of their beautiful Italian language? And we are, well, at least I am butchering some of the names, I'm, I'm sure. I'm so. trying my best not to say their names, but yeah. <laughs> well, Vaglio. Vaglio. <laughs> so our apologies, of course, if we get those wrong. We're trying our best, folks. Summer delivers. Stay right. Well, he's, he's been throwing lots of strikes, so I think the, 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 the Italian team has to start swinging the bat here. Mm -hmm. The one and one is the count now. And another hit to that is foul uh, down the right, uh, sorry, left field line. And, and you know what? Uh, Schultz gave that a really good run over there to try and get it, and it just snuck by the. Uh, foul pole. It's hard for us to see. It's outside of our view, but uh, According it looks like it probably just went just left of the foul pole. Indeed. A couple of the Italian players are protesting here, yeah, so it I was close. I don't think there's much to protest about if you watch the replay here uh, as, as Schultz comes over. It's clearly, clearly foul yeah, pole. Yeah, but half, <laughs> half. <laughs> Wait, look. <laughs> the pitching coach over there. Pitching coach tried to sell that. Just, uh, just foul. It was just foul. It was a game, of, a game of inches. Indeed. Certainly made a case for it. Pitch comes in. And it's a ball. Uh, so the count is two and two. Two out here in the bottom of the third inning. And he doesn't, Summer doesn't, doesn't get, get the straight he's one. looking for. Well, shout outs to the production team from Playo TV mm -hmm. uh, for getting us that replay. So yeah. you could all see that that call was the correct call. That was a foul ball. Indeed. Summer steps off the mound, looks back in at his catcher. Two down. And a. Chopper to shortstop, throws on to first, and they get out of it. So, three up, three down for Team Germany as they head back to the dugout. It is 5-0 over Team Italy. We'll be right back as we head to the top of the fourth.
Takes a strike on that first pitch. He's batting 312. I love that name. We were talking about that earlier. Sounds like a great film name. Somebody get me Gutowski. Maestri is still on the mound. And pitch. just a quick update from Soligan. Uh, Spain uh, pulled out a 5-4 to four victory over the Czech Republic in wow. the bottom of the 10th. Incredible. So that was a tight game there in Solingen. And a chopper to th uh, second base, throws on to first, easy out, as uh, Katowski is retired. Uh, so that's that's uh, that's really interesting. Uh, we have to remember, of course, that uh, while we are seeing lots of games here in Bonn, we have another uh, host city that uh, of, of Solingen who is hosting a number of games as well. So interesting events coming out of there. They have a nice field there. I was there. I'll probably have to say in about. Um, 2007, I think I was there mm -hmm. you know, for a game. Schultz up to the plate, top of the order. And ball. And, uh, they've had some exciting games there as well this week, and also some struggles with the weather. Yeah, you get into September, you really run the risk of some uh, some rain. Obviously, it is it is the Rhineland. Then it comes the pitch comes in for strike. So it comes, one, with, one. comes with the territory, but they had to. One game was suspended. Great Britain against the Netherlands. And a bunt attempt by Schwitz. Um, kind of a half-hearted one and as I, and comes back. We learned that you can call a game early for weather, but uh, not for uh, darkness. So they actually had to play the uh, to play the last inning, the ninth inning. And a hit down the uh, right field line. Looks like it's heading foul, and indeed it is off the batting cage. So Netherlands and uh, Great Britain had to play the ninth inning on, on Wednesday because the, uh, because it was, uh, the game was delayed by the rain. They had to call it after eight. So what happens if it's dark? Well, that, it suspends the game, but they it have to continue. It suspends the game. <laughs> They're it's not going to make them play in the dark. No, they okay. can't. So there's no lights in Solingen like we have here uh, in Bonn. Uh, well, this was one of the great additions, of course, in preparation for this tournament and throughout the year. It's so nice to have the lights this year oh it is a, a huge plus for the for the for the city for the tournament and also for uh, for our club first uh, i still play i play on the fourth team um, i get and but this is the this is the field we've been practicing on uh, most of the summer because the team the, uh, the field two was closed for, for renovation but now both of them are are uh, have been have been finished and have been in great and and a hit down to the shortstop, catches it, throws on to first, and that's uh, just like that. There's two out in the inning. That'll bring Garing to the play. And they really got these fields in great playing condition before the tournament. And uh, I got to play on uh, field two a uh, week before the start of the tournament, and uh, that's usually where we play. And it's, it's just a whole, it's a whole other field. They moved the played forward, and they. So we've really also profited from this, and hopefully that helps to build baseball I in, bon in Bonn as well and in the region. I agree. I think it's so great for for just growing the game here and Gehring to at the play right now for Germany and real really wasn't sure about that swing there and uh, sort of takes it for a strike. Uh, we I also play. I play in in um, in Berlin, and let me tell you, the state of the field is not in the same condition as, as it is here. I, I think Bonn is, is a little more advanced because of the, the heritage of the, uh, the people being here and being introduced to it uh, maybe at an earlier time or in a different way. In any case, the uh, pitch is fall, fouled back on, on Gehring so that we have a 0-2 count. Well, we're playing a game that's uh, American's pastime, mm -hmm. but this field was originally built by the Americans who were here when when Bonn was the capital of West Germany, mm -hmm. uh, and it was taken over in the early 90s uh, when they left for Berlin uh, by the, the Bonn capitals. So it's still owned by the, by the city, but it's uh, managed and run by the, by the club. Yeah, and congrats to the city, of course, for being involved in this as well. And uh, Garen gets a single into right field as he rounds first. Nice, clean, healthy single down the right field. So that'll bring up, with uh, Gehring on first base, that'll bring up Lutz. Lutz is uh, 
is having himself a bit of a game. He had a triple in the first, and in the uh, th in the third inning, he uh, took one for the team, as did his uh, big toe. Got hit on the foot. So let's come to the play. Uh, I have a 158 average, but look, that's in the in, throughout this game. I think that has obviously changed. Great uh, looking player at the plate. Uh, it swings and misses at that one. It looks like he uh, can tag a ball as we've already seen in this in this game. So 0 and 1 count now in Lutz. No, it's invo it's important. You get a tournament like this. It does. It takes more than just you know a, a, a couple of organizers to do it. You need the buy-in of the city. You need money, of course. Uh, you need the region. You need the of course the federal level in, in ball. So uh, it's it's nice to see. It's nice that the facilities are here, and it looks like they'll be able to enjoy them for of course many years to come. Pitch comes in. It's mighty swing and a foul back. Oh and two. Yeah, and it's um, just like the two of us here that's been uh, profiting from the time and effort of uh, hundreds of volunteers to, 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 put the, to pull this uh, tournament off. Yeah, absolutely. I was talking to Angela Backman before the game, who is, uh, of course, heavily involved uh, in putting a lot of this together. And a uh, really, really great job by all the organizers, all the volunteers here today and throughout the week. So, swing and a miss. Uh, catcher throws down first, gets him, and that'll retire the side. So as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning, the score is 5-0 to Germany over Team Italy. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Bond. Max Bolt comes to the, uh, sorry, I'm on the wrong page. Of course I am. Andrioli for Team Italy comes to the plate. He is batting a 438. And so Bond, uh, sorry, Germany is playing, uh, has had themselves a good first half of the game, at least up to until the, uh, at this point. We'll see how the sinning goes, of course. But uh, five runs, not too shabby. We were saying before the game that this was, it was important to get out front early. That's what they did. Strike on that pitch. Yeah, I think the, the Germans are hoping that Luke Sommer can go pretty deep in this game so they can save the save some arms uh, for the next uh, two games. That would make sense for sure. And the pitch comes in for a ball one and one. Uh, that, that one was on the on the on the corner yeah. there. Yeah. You mentioned something interesting. It's Friday the thirteenth. Friday the 13th today. 
And if you're in Northern Europe or the US and you look out the window and there's no clouds, unfortunately we have some cloud cover here. Yeah. Me, you'll see a full moon. So Friday the 13th with a full moon today. I saw that moon last night. It was impressive. Let's hope that the clouds clear a bit so people can see it. So that ball comes in for a, a, a ball as well. So two and one now is the count. So a couple, a couple close ones here. We hear some disagreement from the German fans. This is shocking. 3-1. And that was a ball, and he t will take his base. So never a great strategy to walk the leadoff batter, but nevertheless, he is on first base. Andreoli is, and that'll bring up one of the hottest hitters, of course, uh, in this tournament. Um, Chris Colabello I already mentioned. Uh, and I know him from his uh, time in the Blue Jays. Who is, you know, uh, other than the Mets, probably the best team in the league. Let's just say they are well, the I best team. The Mets are up at the best. <laughs> they, are, they are what they are. We, know, we knew what we were getting into, so. Indeed. You know, they, they had such a promising start. You know, at least be the before this season, looked like they're going to have a really good team, the Mets did. Anyway, and th back at this game, the, uh, the hitter, Chris Colabella, will take a ball on that. Uh, at first base is Andrioli. Colabella, 391. Uh, leading the league, er, the, this tournament in, in RBIs uh, with 14 coming into this game. Andrioli takes his lead at first base. Comes in low, and uh, we've got a 2-0 count. So, Somer is uh, walked the leadoff man, now 2-0 on uh, Colabello. He's going to have to settle back in there. Yeah, he's been uh, throwing both of his pitches low uh, for the last two batters. Somer sets, delivers, and not Colabello just <laughs> looks at it coming in. He was taking all the way. Two and one now. Well, if you can manage to keep getting that uh, that off-speed pitch in the in the zone, mm -hmm. and that'll keep the Italian but batters guessing. Well, Colabello has been around. He's seen pitchers uh, at the highest levels, and uh, you know, if you see a pitcher throwing a number of balls in a row, you sort of step back and see where the next one goes. Colabello calls time, steps out. Summer was almost ready to deliver there. Nobody out bottom of the fourth inning. Well, this is the, his second time seeing him, so this yep. is the, could be a, the duel of the night, I think. And a hit right to the second base on the shorts up on the first, a double play. Just like that, there's two out in the inning. Colabello hits into a double play. Yeah, really well executed, but it was a perfectly hit uh, double play ball. 4-6-3 on that play if you're scoring at home. I think it was only a few, a few meters to the side of the, of the second base. That'll bring up so um, routine, routine double play for yeah, the German team. Absolutely, didn't execute it very well. Giuseppe Mazzanti comes to the play, playing third base today, batting 304. Uh, there was a low, low pitch, but he got the call on that one. Mm -hmm. And a chopper into left field that just gets down. Mazzanti finds himself on first base. Yeah, well hit ball to the to left field for a single. Not much you can do about that. So that'll bring to the plate uh, with Mazzanti on first base now with that single. That'll bring to the plate Alberto Mineo. Alberto Mineo is hitting 267. And in 15 at-bats, he's four runs and four hits. And he's got two doubles and a home run uh, with four RBIs in the season. So, fairly good hitter. Well, Germans have to keep the pressure on uh, with uh, behind Summers. 
Like Italy did against France. It was close until the fifth, and then they blew up. Mm -hmm. Pitch comes in for ball. 1-0. With 13 runs. So yeah, you got to be careful. It all takes you you cannot, cannot let your down your your guard down That's here against right. a, a strong Italian team. Yeah, these guys can hit. Summer steps off the mound, mix up in the sign perhaps. He really leans over as he sets to deliver, and a foul back. He looks like <laughs> he look uh, Mineo looked like he had that one lined up. He had that Just one lined up, up, and that was a big swing. Mm -hmm. But that's okay if, uh, if that's the first first strike of the at bat. Mineo, the catcher today. As Zomer grabs a r uh, rosin bag, gives it a shake, tosses it down, looks in at his catcher, nods in agreement. Delivery. Low. We've got the Italian team just below us. We're right above, uh, we're announcing right above them. And um, they, uh, they, had, they have encouragement for the umpire on every, every few pitches. Yeah, so they've been quite vocal. <laughs> They're not shy on their opinions here, the Italians. <laughs> and the pitch comes inside. So we have a 3-1 count now with uh, two out. Well, bec of course. Because of the EU regulations, they had put padding on the uh, on the dugouts in front, so that's why you see the. Yeah, it does look a little odd. You see the uh, all the players have to stand up, uh, and peer over the fence to oh. see get a view of the game. That's true. It, it it also gives you impression everybody's really into the game because they're standing looking over as the strike comes in uh, three and two now. Now the dugouts go down, uh, so if they were to be standing in the dugout, they wouldn't see anything. <laughs> right. Well, you really have to be on guard for these foul balls now, too. If you're not paying attention, you're likely to take one off, uh, off the noggin. Let's not forget that Mazanti is at first base as the pitch comes in, and the pitch is fouled high as the catcher camps out under it. And he's got it, and that will retire the side as we head to the top of the fifth. Team Germany, Team Italy, 5 nothing. We'll be right back. den innovativen Kapseln zur oralen Einnahme. Sei voll da, wenn es drauf ankommt. Erhältlich in Apotheken und unter shop.zanoctua.com Welcome back to Bonn. It is 5-0 Team Germany over Team Italy so far as we find ourselves in the top, the fifth inning. Uh, we have coming to the plate uh, Max Bolt. 
which is, of course, a fantastic uh, baseball name. Batting 278. Pitch comes in high with some heat. So Maestri is still pitching. He has uh, he's had a couple of rough situations, especially early on in the game. But, uh, Germany got on him early. You see that ball foul back to the to the right of the batter. Um, but he's had his moments. It looks like he's settling back into the game. Germany, of course, wanted to keep him on his toes. Sweet swing and a miss. He looked like he's quite fooled on that pitch. Yeah, that one way outside. Yeah, one and two is the count. Bold steps back in. On the ground. That was the same pitch, hoping to get him again. Not a bad idea. Get him once, let's go twice. But he wasn't fooled. 2-2, two -two the count. <laughs> and the umpire down at first appeals, says he did not go around. So, so that brings it to three balls and, and two strikes here. Indeed. Full count. Bolt will be followed by Anon and Brank. And just the foul side on third base. That was just foul. Indeed. And the batter. Uh, Bolt gets his bat handed back to him, takes a few practice swings and steps back in. Number 25, Bolt takes that ball high and finds himself at first base. Lead off. Man is on with a walk. As we said earlier, you walk that lead off, man, you usually end up paying for it a little bit later on. So we'll see if that happens. Up to the plate, Pascal and on. He of massive home run in the first inning. Uh, it, it was a good number of feet over that uh, right field line. It's to the left of the light stand out there, I believe. Nice resets, delivers, and a big hit, but in the infield and the a shortstop, uh, Maggie goes back and he's got it. Goes back on to second base. He had a big swing, but a little too much under that ball. Yeah, but he's coming about. He's coming out aggressive and swinging the bat. That's what the Germans have to not forget how they managed to get uh, four runs in the first. It was by uh, being aggressive at the plate. That's right. So pass going on. Pops out from the short stop. And will bring up Eric. Excuse me, Eric Brank, who takes that pitch uh, for a strike. 0 and 1 now, or sorry, takes that for a ball. 1 and 0 is the count. Yeah, he, uh, he, he squared around a bunt, it looked like, and mm -hmm. pulled it back. Bolt takes his lead at first base. Pitch. And it comes in for a strike. 1 and 1 is the count now. Looks down at third base. Uh, coach. For his signs, he steps back in. Eric Branks, as we were saying earlier, 062 has an average swing and a miss on that. Uh, oh, and, uh, one and two now is the count. So he's uh, pitching a little, uh, sorry, swinging a little widely a few of those pitches. His average uh, does reflect that. Once he gets that ball lined up, things may change, of course. See, his average now is uh, down to. 0.59. He's on one today. Strikeout and hit by pitch. So it fouls back behind him. Count remains one and two. That was a nice cut on that. Indeed. A high fastball. Yeah, I mean it's it's one of these situations that uh, you know he's getting some good swings in, uh, not connecting, and uh, sometimes you just go through that as a player. You say if they're going to continue, though, of course they need them. Uh, to start hitting. The umpire asks, I believe, for the music to be shut off. 
uh, which is a very unique feature here in Germany as the music tends to get played between batters as if it was a football match and we're you know, a little bit different in other places. And strike three called now on Brank as he heads back to the dugout. Yeah, it's been a tough tournament for him, but, um, you know, the coach is keeping him in there. They need him on the defense, and he was even in and pitching the other night. Uh, did a good job on the mound for, if I remember correctly, for about an inning or two. Uh, so this is a long week of baseball, so it's all hands on deck. That's right. Um, it, two out now after that leadoff walk to uh, Bolt, who is still on first base. They retired the next two batters, and Marco Cardoso is at the plate. Uh, that ball comes in for uh, a ball, one and all is count. I mean, the music is one of those differences, uh, the minor differences we find in uh, as we play in different places throughout the world. A nice off-speed pitch there from Maestri. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one and one on his count. Pitch, swing, and a miss. Meister looks like he's settling in uh, after that walk. He looks uh, he looks more sure on the mound. That's, yeah, that's he's found he's definitely found his rhythm here. Looks back, first base. Runner goes back, foul. Uh, he almost looks impatient there on the mound. He wants to pitch. He's, he's ready well before the the batter's in the box. That's right. Bolt uh, takes his lead. Pitch on the way. Late swing and on to second base. Second baseman throws it on to Colabola at first, and that retires the side. So one hit, uh, but the next three go down in order. Uh, a walk. On the, uh, the a walk, sorry. One walk on that as well. That it marked as a hit. So at the end of, uh, as we head to the bottom of the fifth inning, 5 nothing Germany over Team Italy. Wait right back. Germany over Team Italy uh, so far in this Just game. Just real quick, we haven't named the umpires uh, yeah. for this for this game. We have the home plate umpire is Majomir Jankovic from Slovakia. First base umpire is uh, Ibon Aevalo La Fuente from Spain. And the third base umpire is Oswald Schaff from Austria. Yeah, that's right. These they guys doing a solid, uh, solid job so far. That's right. So the pitch comes in. Uh, it comes in low. Ball. Number nine, Mattia uh, Reginato is at the plate. DHing tonight. He struck out in the uh, in the second inning. That pitch comes in as well uh, for a ball. So 
Two and balls, oh. two and oh, uh, is the is the count. Low, three and oh. Zomer on the mound is, uh, you recall in the last inning, I believe he, uh, he uh, walked, yes he did, he walked the leadoff batter, so he's in danger of doing that again here at three oh count. Pitch comes in though for a strike. It will be interesting to see the pitch count for these guys, where they are. Reginato batting 235. And the fastball is high for a walk. That's right. So down to first, he walks that leadoff batter again. I'll bring to the plate Federico Celli. He is playing the right field today. Celli struck out in the uh, second inning. The second at bat. Well, as he cleans, up, as the umpire cleans the plate, it's been a um, long week for Germany. They won, uh, they beat Sweden on day one, nine to one. Um, uh, lost to Israel, four to two. Uh, eight to one loss to the Netherlands and a ten to six loss to the Czech Republic. Right, that's our trivia question for today. What was the score between uh, Germany and Great Britain? You can look that one up here. <laughs> In my preparation there of uh, my notes, of course, uh, not always stellar, as uh, as we now find ourselves uh, with, uh, as I said, Shelley at the plate, uh, foul back there. And that was a pitching duel. That was a one to nothing win for Germany over Great Britain on Sunday. If I remember correctly, there was a few rain delays. I think that's the game where it went. No, Sunday, Saturday night uh, game is the one that went up just about midnight. Didn't get underway until 9. Chelly had played 0-1 uh, today. As we said, he struck out 231. Batting average. Runner on first base is Reginato. And quick foul on the, just bounce high off, almost off home play there it seemed. Yeah, you could hear that, it was right off home play. So 0-2 oh is the count now. So still, Italy yet, uh, I think they only have a few hits. How many hits so far? Indeed, as it just goes off offline as we say that. Um, at the plate right now, we're just catching back up in uh, this game. Chelly is at the plate right now with a 0-2 uh, account. 5 nothing here in the bottom of the fifth inning, Germany over Italy so far. Yeah, so three hits for Italy so far, but still no runs. Pitch comes in. Ball. So I think it's... Uh, one and one and two. One and two. I think they're going to keep going. Maybe with one out, they'll they'll play the sacrifice if they can get the man on here. Definitely a possibility. Oh, back and hits the pitcher. Zomer throws on to second. He safe as he st the umpire says he steps off the plate. Indeed, that did look to be the uh, the case. We'll have to see the replay on that. So runner safe at second. Runner safe at first. Uh, so far, uh, we might also want to make sure, so, uh, and indeed we see the coach coming out to take a look at Zomer. Uh, it was that tough to see where it hit him. Uh, yeah. It could have been in the glove. It hit him pretty hard. That was a sharply hit ball. That's for sure. But he, I mean, credit to him for coming back and managing to throw that on to second. Replay here. Well, right off his chest, it looks right like. Right off his chest and stomach, looks like. But look, he was turned to the side. And he's and still. Indeed, uh, the foot was off the bag. Yeah, so. So that, that uh, would be the right play. Um, he could have gone to first. That would have been the safer play, but he tried to get the lead runner. Yeah, and you earn, you earn the respect not only of your teammates, but of the other team and people in the crowd as well. I mean, that everybody knows has ever been hit in the stomach that uh, that doesn't feel that great and it wins you. So to turn around and then throw that to second base. Nice. They'll give him, they'll give him some. Uh, Just make sure he's okay. Throws here to make sure he's okay. He looks like he's not ready to go anywhere. No, he's. He's gonna try. So we got runners on first, runner on second, 
Uh, the runner on first is uh, Regnato. The uh, runner, I'm sorry, runner on second is Regnato. Runner on first is Jelly. Uh, that'll bring up Sebastiano Poma, who was sporting a 1,000 batting average until his last at bat, in which he struck out. Nobody out, two on. Uh, Italy threatening here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Zomer brushing that hit to the stomach off like it was nothing. Looks back in and sets. Fisher Poma. And a bunt, and he pops it up. Is he going to get to it? First baseman comes over, catches it. Uh, we said that if you get another man on, they might try to sacrifice. Uh, that's the, yep. the you worst said thing you could possibly do as a, as a batter is to uh, pop up a sack bunt. Yeah, that's, uh, that's <laughs> it's the, ball literally okay, the worst thing you can do. <laughs> So that leads to an out and, and doesn't advance the runner. Now, I'm not sure how many times he's bunting. And a lot of people have a hard time of bunting. But if you look at the replay, I've seen, uh, I've seen better. I've seen a, a mix this, this <laughs> week. I've seen some, uh, some horrendous bunting and some, uh, some great bunting. But I think it leaned more towards the horrendous. <laughs> Calling them as Lots he sees of missed, it. Missed, oppor <laughs> missed opportunities. No, I, it, it, it's a tough thing to do. And you're right. It was, it was not a, the greatest attempt. So, uh, one out now, and we find ourselves top of the order with Maggie at the plate. Number 37, strike comes in, and one, one oh out. I now. have to say, when I was um, commenting, Sweden against Great Britain, both teams executed the perfect hit and run. Interesting. Uh, so, uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was fun to watch. Maggie 0 and 2 at the plate today. Struck out in the first. Flew out to the center fielder in the third. Count is one and one. So now they're back at the top of the order. So I think the, they're thinking if we're five back, we got to get more runs than just uh, these two. So it's swing away here from Muggy. Well, yeah, and, and some are, of course, hoping to get out of this. Uh, they could use a double play, of course. Batting ball on the ground. But that one heads back to center field. Hit pretty deep. And the right fielder camps under it. Uh, runners tagging, coming on to third base and second base. They tag him at second, but the umpire says he's safe. And the second baseman, uh, Cardoso, is not happy with that call. It was definitely uh, a close play at second base. So both runners tag. The runners now at second and third. We have to wait for the replay on this one. Cardoso, yeah. not happy. Unless he just went past him. It was how it was. We we were blocked by the by the by Cardoso. We couldn't see. This will be a good view of it. He played that rather lackadaisical as well. I mean, uh, both runners are running. Looks like the runner got around him. It does look like he got around him. But also the uh, Amon uh, with the, with tagger plays, you really should be catching the ball and throwing That's it right. in one move. Uh, so a little bit of a delay on that throw from right field. I yeah. guess they thought he weren't they weren't going to go. That's so right. Italy capitalizing there on a mistake by Germany. Runners on second and third. That'll bring Vaglio to the plate. Thank you, just catching up on my uh, scoring here. And uh, in fact, yeah, Vaglio, uh, 333 hitter today. He's uh, 0 for 2 at the plate. Uh, flew out to left in the first and uh, grounded a 6-3 uh, play on the, the shortstop. He's out in the third. Zomer sets. And a solid hit into left center field. The left fielder, both runs are going to score as the pitch comes into, or the throw comes back into second base. So. So that play off the pitcher in the uh, earlier in the inning comes back to haunt them, um, despite the Valiant's attempt. And now the score is five to two for Germany over Italy. Italy coming back. Got to. Uh, and Summer is going to be looking to put the lid back on this. 
Yeah, there were two two mistakes with the right fielder, and uh, uh -huh. not that there was a mistake by the pitcher, but uh, the safer play it would have been to first. He when he tried to go for the riskier play to get out the lead runner. Yeah, so uh, and then uh, you can see what happens. Uh, small small mistakes can lead to uh, that's right two two run scoring. That's right. So Andrew only at the plate now, batting 412, and he's on one for the day, uh, but hitting 438 uh, for an average. So mistakes uh, come back to haunt Vaughn in this uh, in this bottom of the uh, fifth inning. Runner on first base, two out, strike call, one and one. You don't get the feeling Italy's too far out of any one game only. Uh, not at all. Not with their not with their bats. Uh, this tournament. This is why you know, it's a really have to concentrate for every for every yeah. out. That's right. So a second strike now called on on Andreoli. Uh, but again, uh, they are Bonnie is still up three runs. Uh, be careful there and still get out of the inning. Uh, you did it again. Damage. It's Germany, not Bonn. I know you're the, <laughs> used That's to calling right. the Bonn Capital Games, but uh, I've been I've been conditioned. And a single to the second baseman. Cardoso throws it on to first, and they get out of the inning with two runs uh, scored. But it is now a five to two game as we head to the top of the sixth inning, and we'll be right back here in Bonn. Team Italy 5 to 2 as we are find ourselves at the top of the sixth inning. Italy just, if you uh, are just joining us, scored two runs in the last half of the inning. So uh, Germany was hoping to uh, obviously score a few insurance runs here in the top of the sixth. And uh, that will bring to the plate Alex Schmidt, who is bat batting 176. Uh, he struck out twice today and he's playing shortstop. So as Schmidt steps in, it's uh, it's interesting to note that the game, uh, as is, is this, is this, the ball is called a strike, and the game, the, the conditions are very good for a baseball game, but there is no wind to speak of. So those balls, as they get head uh, uh, high, are not being carried by any extent by the wind at all. So strike two comes in. Oh, and two now is a count.
And a little dribbler out to short. He's gonna have to hurry. Throws on to first and he gets him. So Schmitz retired. 6-3 on that play. Looked like Master could have made the play on that one. He let it go for his uh, yeah, they really, short stop. Really in a hurry. Yeah, it took a weird bounce. Uh, just it looked like, yeah, I guess it was, uh, took a weird bounce to the left there. Mm -hmm. So, nevertheless, Katowski comes to the plate, takes a strike. Uh, Katowski uh, is uh, struck out in the second and uh, grounded out to second base in the fourth. Maestri delivers and a foul back to our side. And the third baseman gives it a half-hearted chase and lets it go. Throw the ball, throws the ball back and heads back to third. Count now is 0-2 on Katowski. Well, the Germans really got to get some base runners here and some insurance runs. Mm -hmm. You never know with the, the Italian bats. That's right. We had four uh, four runs in the in the first inning, and then another one in the third. But we haven't this seen was anything. A solo home run. So in indeed. So we haven't seen anything since since that. And that's gonna twist foul. One ball, two strikes. A, a hit in the fourth. Uh, no hits in the. Fifth. That's right. So Maestri, despite having a rough beginning, has, as we have mentioned a few times now, he's really set on it. And, and your guess is that they're going to ride him pretty far into this game, Mo? I think so. I mean, that's been basically the plan for most of the starting pitchers because... Uh, and a chopper, and he's going to have to hurry. And he that's gets it. Drop. He drops, and he gets in uh, with a single. So, leadoff man is... Oh, sorry, second... Uh, Hitter is on, Kevin Todowski, with a nice every, hit. Every time we say they need to g get aggressive uh, with their bats and get on base, uh, the, that's right. the German team gets a, gets a hit. That's right. So we'll have uh, multitudes of people phoning in, uh, looking for a hit, asking us to tell them to get more aggressive. So let us just say, on behalf of all of us, get more aggressive, Germany. Just ran to get a coffee, and you can see the crowds are really into this game. That's right. really You energize them all, Ollie. Well, their energy is energizing us and the and the players. That's right. Throw it first. He is back. Kotowski back in safely, and the, we're at the bat right now. We are finding ourselves at the top of the order. Philip Schultz is is up. He is uh, batting 333. He really led things off in that first inning. Boy, there's a healthy lead at first base. Uh, Katowski is taking as the as the pitch comes in they haven't for a ball. Uh, One knows count. They haven't tested Mineo behind the plate yet. The German team, as far as I think they. No, haven't I haven't seen. I haven't, I haven't seen a steal yet. No, not yet. This would be the place. No. Ooh, line drive back towards. They got the around on that side. one. Yeah, he did. You run in this position, one out. Um, at this score, this is the this is the with one out. Uh, this is usually where you could easily try to a sack bunt or a stolen base. Yeah, uh, I agree. Uh, I think they've done some scouting of Maneo uh, from previous games and probably uh, a little wary wary of stealing against them. <laughs> Foul back. Yeah. So the count is is one and two. That's true. We haven't seen uh, we haven't seen him throw down to second at all yet today. So everybody's looking to the third base coach. See what the sign is. And Maestri waits as Schultz calls time at the plate. Throw back to first base. He's easily in. Big lead at first base. Throw and a high pop up. Uh, left fielder settles under it and catches it and uh, 
Pitowski has to go back to first base. Two outs now. I'm going to bring up uh, Simon Guring. Guring also had a single in the first inning. Single in the fourth inning. Had himself a game so far. And they're going to need him to hit if they want to advance either the runner or themselves. In this one. Pitcher sets. Meister delivers. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Yeah, Meister's got a quick, pretty quick delivery. That could be another reason why uh, why the German team is not going to attempt to steal in that. And with one out now, with two outs, uh, doubtful. And I look at some of these scores, the German, uh, sorry, Italy's wins over the other teams, 10-1, 13-3, 11-4. They, they have really dominated in this tournament. So Germany, we see a run in the play. We'll see this throw. And it gets past the second baseman. And the stolen base is successful. What uh, is happening here? It looks like he's calling him out. And the uh, yeah, they're calling it obstruction. Obstruction. Sorry, you're right. And so what they're saying, I do not see the obstruction on it that play. Looked like he left the bat out there, and he went tripped over the bat. But he had made him a, a move with the bat. So is the play at home that yeah. is in question? We'll see. the The play at home is uh, where the call would be. So we see the replay. The runner going. So if we can get a replay of the, the pitch. Right, because as he, as he easily takes the that The coach bag. is out arguing that call, but uh, yeah, yeah, technically you, 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 you're supposed to make room, but um, it could be that he left the bat out, it looked like uh, mm -hmm. uh, to me. All right, we'll so here, see it here. here's the play at the plate. Uh -huh, and he holds the bat out, and that would be the, the play in question. Yeah, he didn't get out of the way, uh, the batter there, and, and obstructed the catcher, so they called him out in second. Okay, so. Maybe that's why also the, the, the throw was off. Indeed. So we find ourselves, uh, we'll take a, a short break and come back. Uh, the score is 5-2, to two, uh, Germany over Italy. Interesting choice there to go with uh, with the two outs there. So we'll be right back here in Bon Germany. So we've got uh, full moon fever back here in uh, in Bonn, 5-2. Germany is leading uh, Italy. We can see this full moon I coming think you up. got the chance to see it in the opening, in the, in the wide shot there. Yeah, it's really nice. From home plate. Friday the 13th. Things are... Uh, Things are not frightening yet for Italy, but there are, you know, three more chances at the plate to do so, uh, three more innings to do so as the pitch comes in uh, for a strike. Uh, Chris Calabello is at the plate, number 25, uh, hitting 391. We've talked already about uh, his success uh, in this tournament so far. Doing quite well RBIs, home run-wise. But uh, pitch comes in low, one and one. Yeah, they're going to... This is one of those batters you don't, you're not going to deliver him anything down the middle. You're going to try to pitch around him. If you get a walk, you get a walk. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, especially since he's hitting uh, in the leadoff spot this inning. Mighty swing and a miss on an off-speed pitch, I would guess. That was the off-speed pitch. I'm guessing it's a curveball. Yeah. That's his curve. He's been throwing a, uh, from my vantage point uh, the curveball and the fastball. So let's uh, let's talk a little bit about what happened in that last inning. Um, as the runner stole second base, the uh, the batter it was uh, he was um, it was said by the umpires that he stuck his bat out, impeding the throw of the well, catcher. He, he had to dropped second. his bat, but uh, the 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 batter has to make an attempt to get out of the way. Right. But he kind of stayed there, uh, that way obstructing the, the throw. And uh, that means that the runner was called out. B uh, pitch comes in low. If I understand it, the runner is called out and not the batter. If I, and This is one of those I weird indeed. rules of, uh, of baseball that you have to be deep in the rule book to... to I guess uh, we'll find out next, uh, next uh, when it's Bond's... Uh, Turn to batter. Uh, giving out on batter interference, but it was, so it was the uh, the batter that was called out. His batter was called out. Okay, and a hit into right field. That's gonna go over for a home run as Colabello slows down and does his home run trot. I do believe that's number five for him uh, in this tournament. And true to form, as we were saying, uh, he cool comes through a with some power going around there. Yeah, he's he's done this a few times before. Touches home plate, and we find ourselves in a 5-3 uh, baseball game. Yeah, and that was hit to the opposite field. It didn't look like it had the legs, uh, but uh, you can just see the power. Yeah, it was like it was on nice the pitch on the outside corner, but he ended up uh, getting enough of the bat on it. Mm -hmm. And still made it over with room to spare. I mean, I thought it was close in that. I see the replay. It made it over. It made it over all right. Brings back memories of his time in Toronto. I know I keep going on about that, but it's right, interesting to see a player. Another one deep into right field as right fielder goes back, misses it, uh, lands at the fence, and runner comes down uh, for a double. So Italy already all over uh, Sommer as we uh, check in here on the top of the sixth inning. Yeah, Five the, with five three score. The Germans playing a bit of a shift in the outfield. They're they're. Uh, playing the pull, thinking that the battles will get around. So the, the that one was just too much of a run. Indeed, that was Mazzanti who hit that. For third Amon. Baseman. Yeah, Amon, I really shipped it into, into a center, as you were saying. He's been playing there all game, it seems, as the pitching coach comes out now uh, for Bonn. Or for Germany, sorry. Especially in these night games with that, uh, with the padding and uh, mm -hmm. the fence back there, it is hard to see when you're running. So it's, uh, you do have a warning track, but uh, we've seen a, a few batters, I mean, a few outfielders uh, getting a bit nervous as they get towards that fence. Right. So uh, the coach goes back to the dugout now, and Sommer uh, steps back in. They're going to leave him in for now. So runner in second base, that's Mazzanti. Mineo is at the plate. Mineo uh, is batting uh, is batting 267, and he's one for two on the day. He got a single in the second inning. So a home run here would uh, would tie the game up. That's right. So you gotta be very careful, this guy. And true to form, the Italian team <laughs> below us. Uh, like strongly disagree. Strongly disagree. We're learning some key <laughs> Italian words up here. <laughs> That's right. Consider this an education and an honor. <laughs> and so summer sets. And swing and a miss. Strike on that. And well, we've this got is lefty attack. against lefty here. So this is uh, mm -hmm. playing for the pull ball. That's what he's trying to get around on this and uh, seeing if he can join his teammate there with a home run. Yeah, you see uh, Annan back in playing accordingly out there. Left field, or sorry, right field. This low. That one missed low. Two and one now, look out. Zomer's probably been in this situation a number of times before, a seasoned veteran. But he's in trouble here with the runner on second base, tying, runner at, tying run at the plate. 
Nobody out. Pitch. Low again. Three and one. So he's probably going to have to come back in for this one. So hitters count for Mineo. And a runner, uh, sorry, Summer steps off the mound. Runner heads back to second. Oh, there's no one covering him. Nobody's yeah. out there covering him at all. He doesn't look too much of a threat to steal, but there's and it, there's a foul ball back. On and the, another big swing. Oh, yeah, another big swing. Was way, hit a long way, but way also way foul. Into the woods. You had a chance to play yourself under these lights, Ole? No, uh, we're hoping that next year each team will have an opportunity, but uh, we were really tight on field. This we have 12 teams uh, in the Bun Capital system, and uh, getting getting field time was a challenge this year. Mm -hmm. uh, practice time. Yeah, I'm wondering how it, uh, what it's like to uh, to catch the ball under these lights. What effect they have? I mean, all parts are different. Well, I, and that ball goes Even foul. Even my, uh, my Little League field when I was uh, playing in junior high, uh, our main field had lights. So mm -hmm. we had a football slash baseball field, American football, and uh, we had lights. You're in Wyckoff, New Jersey. New Jersey. Good uh, baseball city. No. But you see here uh, they have the lights going up as well which we didn't have, so that makes the life a bit easier. Uh, Instead of pointing right down, you mean upon, it, like into the eyes of the player. Yeah, obviously. and that's actually why a lot of these um, kind of lights are not being allowed um, on mm -hmm. some fields because it's, uh, it's light pollution. Right. Pitch comes in. And he takes a walk down to first base. So runner on first, runner on second. Here in the top of the sixth inning, 5-3 is the score, and Somer is, is in trouble as the uh, pitching coach comes out. He slams that rosin bag down. But he, he has he's had a tough uh, half inning here. We'll see if he's going to make the change here. And he takes the ball. Takes the ball, we'll get a uh, pitching change. We'll see who it is coming in. And the fans give Zomer a good round of applause as, as he does deserve. He's pitched uh, six innings. He had a tough time of it here in the top of the six. And still waiting to see who is, who is, who is coming in. So, do we... Uh, to recap uh, this inning, we have uh, Colabello leading off with a home run, uh, followed by Giuseppe Mazzanti, who doubled, uh, putting him on second. Uh, and then we have um, Reganato Mantilla at the plate, uh, hitting 235. And so we'll take a short break uh, while we wait for the pitcher to warm up and be back uh, with those stats for you. We'll be right back. Thank you. 
And we're back here in, uh, in Bonn, where Germany is uh, still leading uh, Italy 5-3. to three. We have a new pitcher in this game, uh, Samuel Stegert, for, for Germany, who has come on in relief as you see that beautiful picture of the moon um, in the background there. And nice close-up. Uh, you can uh, you see the Martians the and right everything. Next to us here. Yeah, nice job to get that uh, great picture. Yeah, great team here from uh, Playo TV. Indeed. Getting us these pictures. So Stigard on the mound, runners at first and second, and we have uh, nobody out yet in the inning. This 5-3 lead is, uh, suddenly seems rather tenuous. So lots of work uh, for Stigard, who has a sidearm delivery. Throws down to second to try and get him uh, at second coming back and uh, of course he gets back safely and the runner in second is Mazanti. good idea with going there that's a risky play but uh he looked like he mm -hmm. he saw something so uh in it I, I don't see a lot of uh sidearm delivery uh, at least i haven't had this at this level i'm not sure if you have uh, as well only but used to see, I, in my feeling, I used to see a lot more of it um, a, a number of years ago. No, I know uh, through this week I haven't seen too many sidearm pitchers uh, at all. Uh, Steigert, I have seen him pitch. Bunt attempt, bunts it down, the third baseline. Third baseman throws it on to second, bounces in, safe at second. Safe at second, uh, again, tried to get that runner coming down. Uh, the safe play obviously would have been going down to first to get that that certain out. Um, I don't know, right play only? Uh, I would disagree with that play, but um, yeah. because that was a really well laid uh, bunt, and by the time you get there and throw it, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, the chance you're getting that run out at second is uh, the runner out at second is, is quite slim. Could have gone to first for the out, um, but maybe they were trying to keep the man on first for a double play ball if they got the out. So but nope. now they have bases loaded and, and no outs. Yeah, tough situation here. No doubt about it for the uh, for the new pitcher, Steiger. At the plate, we have uh, Federico Celli. He is uh, he struck out in the first. He looks in at his catcher. Takes his time on the delivery of these bases full. Runners take their lead. Sidearm delivery to the plate. A big uh, solid hit into uh, into center. Runners are tagging. And they will go home from third. So, Mazzanti scores on that tag up play. The batter, Jelly, is out with that fly out to uh, center field. That'll bring up Sebastiano Poma to the plate. He has struck out in the uh, third inning, and in the fifth inning, he flew out to uh, third base on a, uh, sorry, to first base on a, an, a bunt attempt that popped up high. So we now, uh, Germany uh, is now clinging to a one-run lead, 5-4 uh, now, in the top of the, uh, bottom of the sixth. Yeah, so Germany hoping that the sidearm will uh, get a ground ball uh, up in the infield so we, they could turn two runners get out of this inning yes runners at first and second chopper off the pitcher short something there won't be a play on this one as he grabs and holds on to the ball all runners are safe uh, the runner the bags are once a game full there really was no play on that once it ricocheted off it's, Steigert it's tough to say if he had let it go whether or not they could have made the play could have gone right into center field that would have been another another run score and so uh, Tough play for Steiger out there. Um, yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a split section, a, uh, second reaction time, as you see here on the replay, just off his glove. Yeah, um, if he had let that through, uh, that probably would have gone into the outfield for an RBI. Yeah. So, sacks full. Jeremy, only one out. Pitch comes in for a strike. Steiger on the mound. Who do you find on the uh, bases? Well, let me tell you. You've got Alberto Mineo at third base. You've got Reganato at second. You've got Poma at first. And the leadoff hitter Maggi at the plate. And he is winning 217. 
sorry, 250. Oh, so staggered ahead in the count here, 0 and 2. He's going to need to get him out. And the best thing that could happen, of course, is a, a ground ball uh, somewhere in the infield. Of course, hitting into that double play. Fans clapping their encouragement. Steigert sets off the plate. There's been a couple occasions now he and the, and the catcher seem to have uh, not been in tune with respect to what the call uh, will be or what the signs are. See the coaches down here uh, encouraged. So, uh, leaping catch in center field and it's caught. Beautiful play as the runners advance. So tie game now here in Germany. Um, and here in Bonn, the, the run scores. So it's five to five, but a very nice sliding catch uh, it, by the center fielder, uh, Katowski. Yeah, it looks like he had to uh, make, a, make a nice play there. Uh, half dive, and I think he uh, it was a line ripped drive. up a divot. Yeah, he came out. It was an awkward catch, uh, the, the way his leg landed there. Anyway, uh, so uh, Mineo comes around to score. We've got the runners moving up on that play. Uh, so we have runners on third, and we have runner on uh, second base now. And at the plate, we have Vag uh, Vaglio. Yeah. NFL ball. <laughs> Vaglio hitting... Uh, He's hitting 333. Uh, he's one for three in the game today with two RBIs. Dangerous guy to have at the plate. Yeah, so Steiger's got to try to pitch, uh, be a bit creative here, not get the ball too much in the strike zone. Pitch comes in for a strike. Yeah, a strike. Oh, only two. He can still get out of this. Only two here. Very careful on this pitch. Looks in, he's got the signs, he delivers. And a chopper back to the pitcher. Throws it on the first. And the inning's over. However, we now find ourselves in a tie game as we head to the top of the seven here in Bonn. Team Germany, Team Italy, deadlocked at five. We'll be right back.
welcome back. Deadlocked at five here in the seventh inning here in Bonn, uh, in Germany and Italy. Uh, to the plate, we have uh, Donald Lutz, and we saw it in the last half inning, Oli, the full power of the Italian team unleashed upon Team Germany. Yeah, absolutely. You can, uh, it doesn't take long uh, to get for these guys to get a few runs. That's right. So a 5 nothing lead has evaporated. Uh, up is Lutz. He takes that ball up. And Maestri is still in there. Uh, so they're hoping he can go a little longer here. In there. Other than the first yeah. inning, um, Mastry's been uh, pitching well. Seems to have found his rhythm. Still has a bit of a zip on that uh, on that fastball. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's certainly <laughs> more settled than he was in the beginning of the game with those four runs scored in the first inning. Pitch comes in for a strike. I don't know how much of a history buff you are, Wally, but I like to check out what happens uh, at certain dates in baseball history. Today in 1983, Oakland's Ricky Henderson steals three bases in a 6-5 win over Texas to give him 101 for the season. And his third, it's his third season, 101, 100 or more steals. You just don't see that anymore. In the, no, in the, the, the catchers have gotten much better at making that throw. I think... Uh, the arms sped up more than the legs. Yeah, and there's just not that emphasis on steals anymore. It's too bad. It's such an exciting part of the game. Yeah, I'm a big fan of small ball bunts and steals and hit and runs. More of the strategy yeah, side I like of it. baseball. I like it too. I know it gets a bad name, especially now in the long ball era, but uh, I really like that part of the game. I do miss it at the major league level. Swing and a miss as, uh, as Lutz goes down on strikes. Um, and it, so one out here in the in the top of the seventh. Now the other thing that happened, as I'm from Canada, in 1991, 55-ton block collapses in Montreal's Olympic Stadium. The Expos, already in last place, will have to play the rest of their home games on the road. That sounds like the Montreal I know and remember well, and the Big O in so many more ways than and one. We miss. Yeah. So, uh, one out here, top of the seventh inning, 0-1 count on uh, Max Bolt. Pitch foul back. Bolt hitting, uh, hitting 300, according to our stats here, one and two on today's game, an RBI and, uh, walk. Yeah, this is how the, unfortunately for the German team, this has been a bit of a constant for them is a hot bats in the beginning and then a bit of a slowdown. And it looks like we do get a new, a new pitcher, a new pitcher here. Game. This is uh, Michael Johnson. Johnson throws it low, one and two. As our crack team of researchers here goes to work trying to find out a little bit more about Johnson, we'll get those uh, we'll get those stats and and come back to you. So ball uh, two and two is the count. One out here in the top of the seventh inning. 5-5 five, five is the score. Pitch into Bolt. Swing and a miss. That's two strikeouts in a row now. That's the umpire position of that. And the umpire said it went right by you. And very quickly. So that'll bring up to the plate Pascal Anon. He's playing right field today, batting uh, 350 on the season. And uh, Johnson looks like he's 1-0. Uh, oh, but he's only, only pitched 3.2 innings so far in the tournament. Relatively well, untested. Four, four hits against him. But 
but he's uh, could be one of these pitchers that they were just saving for the knockout rounds here. Could be. I mean, two strikeouts to lead off this uh, this top of the seventh. Very well could be the case. Swing and a miss, and not even close. See, if your bats are hot, as it has been for the Italian team, uh, you don't have to use some of your best pitchers. Uh, you can save them for critical games like this one. 5-5 five, five in the top of the seventh. Pin, swing, and a miss. I, it, he fans them quite easily. And so three Ks in a row to uh, end the top of the seventh inning. 5-5 five, five is the score between Italy and Germany. We'll be right back after this. He is uh, he's grounded out a, a few times and is 0 for 2 base on balls. Today's game. On the mound still is Steger. Came in last inning to relieve Zummer. Sidearm delivery expert. Pitches in. And it's on the ground. Shakes off the catcher. Pass it in, and it's in for a strike. You know, one thing I really liked, I, was, I, I haven't spent a lot of time yet at the tournament, um, but I was struck by, uh, we talked earlier about how well organized it is, but I, I like the, the fact that there's a selection of food trucks back here. There's this wide selection of merchandise. So that pitch uh, comes in for a ball. And if you're at home, um, I would urge you this a weekend to come out and check out these games. If you're in this region, uh, this, this is a unique event. It's a great opportunity, great place to bring the family and the kids. So come on out to the park uh, tomorrow, uh, or one of the days throughout the term as they pitch and they race down to first base and he calls them out. Uh, that was a very close call at first base as uh, Andrew Lee is is called out yeah it really is a great um, environment a great atmosphere here uh, i'm here with my, my kids I'm sitting next to us you can't see them but uh we got a nice view uh, from our youth vantage point here but it's a uh, all games here are, are a lot of fun we come to a lot of the capital games as a family yeah same here same here I and so again, if you're out there, you're sitting at home and you're wondering what the heck you're gonna do this weekend, do you wanna go down and uh, just ride your bike once again down by the river? Do you wanna come out and catch some great action, some great baseball and show the kids something new? I say do it. 
Call the ball at the plate, and as he has, I remember in his first at bat today, Oli, he just stands and nonchalantly watches a pitch come in. He says, I don't think I'll ho hit this one for a home run like I did in the last inning. And he indeed blasted the line in the last inning on a line over the fence. He sure did. And down to the uh, second baseman, he throws on first. Colabell is out. Well positioned on that play, the second baseman uh, Cardoso was. And with his pitching style, you think it would uh, lead to a lot of ground outs. Didn't happen uh, in the last inning, but it seems to be mm -hmm. working out for uh, Steiger this inning. I'll bring up uh, Giuseppe Mazzanti. And he uh, has had himself a game today, a three for three, hitting 385 in the tournament itself. Hit a double and, a, and he scored. Wearing number 49 today on his uh, broad shoulders. Pitch. And a ball. Two balls and no strikes. Deadlocked at five here. Strike called. One and two. Or, sorry, two and one. And a, and a single into center field. And Rosanti is now uh, four for four in today's game. Finds himself at first base, bringing up Alberto Mineo. Yeah, Steiger's got to vary his uh, placement a little bit mm -hmm. uh, when, the, when the count's in his favor, when the count's uh, two and one. Uh, uh, the Italian team will take advantage of anything close to the middle of the plate. That's right. You can't fool these guys too easily. That was in for a strike. Now, 267 hitter on, on in the tournament. And in for a strike. Nice pitch. Mm -hmm. That one up in the strike zone. I think that's the first uh, mm -hmm. first higher pitch I've seen from Steigert so far. Agreed. Most of them have been very, very low. And outside. So, one and two is the count now. Two out. One on. The runner at first base is Mizanti. Looks down the third base coach, the sign. Side armor sets, delivers, and strike three called. They get out of that inning, leave the runner, Mazzanti, uh, stranded at first base. And we head to the bottom of the, uh, we head to the bottom of the eighth inning here. In, sorry. We find ourselves heading to the top of the eighth. Thank you, Wade, for that clarification. Here in Bond, we'll be right back.
All right, welcome back to Bonn, where uh, the moon continues to wax brightly over the field. Um, and we are in a deadlock tie here, uh, and we find ourselves in the top of the eighth, Eric Brink. Eric Brink at the plate, a batting of a bit of a paltry 56 average, 0-2 uh, to today, two strikeouts, and he was hit by a pitch. And Bon, if they're going to make a move, they may wish to consider a start making it now. We found they it. really got to come out like they did in the first inning and start swinging that bat. Uh, Johnson uh, uh, was able to strike out, I think, two in, in, the, last, in the last inning. Yeah, actually, oh, no, he struck out the side. He struck out the side. That's and he, right. Um, he's a powerful guy coming in there. So we haven't seen him. Yeah, uh, you got to be uh, swinging right out of the bat here. Oh, that was a nice cut by Brent. Yeah, a lot of the fans have stuck around for this game too, which is uh, nice to see. It's good that they came out to support the team. Uh, whether you are a fan of uh, Germany, whether you're a fan of Italy, it's nice to have you out here. Of course, there's a full schedule of games tomorrow as well, uh, Oli. So, again, encourage people to come on out. I'll be back at uh, 11 o'clock uh, for a game. I think uh, the loser of this game will be playing in that game. So I'll be uh, sitting here in about 13 hours again. Look at you. This is a uh, marathon man beside me. And peel down to first, and he's the, he did not go around. So the count on that is uh, the count on players now two and two. Eric Brink. Yeah, this is all about base hits. They need uh, they need to start out with some uh, some men on base here. And pitch comes in so high. He gets him up to a full count here. Nice at bat by Brank. Considering a guy struck out the side, Johnson did in the last inning. Wear him out, make him pitch a few. And yeah, fell back. So he continues to battle in there. It is a pleasure, of course, watching players of this caliber play in this tournament. Uh, in the regular season, uh, results can be varied uh, by, by each, each player, of course. Each team has a strong and weak points, but in these tournaments, you're getting really the cream of the crop. And a single to the second baseman. He snags that easily, throws it on to Calabolo at first. One down. That was a nice contact by Brank, but just right to the second baseman. So, one down uh, in this inning. And that would 4-3 on that play. To the second baseman, the first baseman. Now it brings up Cardoso, uh, playing second base today for Bond, batting 550 in the tournament. So I'm not sure what the discussion is here. We had both coaches talking to the umpire. So the umpire is going to go call the umpire, call the other umpires in for for a huddle here. Looks like the entire team's coming in, and they're checking something. On uh, on the pitcher's uh, pitching hand side, they're looking at his belt, checking his pocket, and the pitcher's saying, "It looks like they uh, they were checking for something that Some he had on him, foreign substance or something like that. Maybe they saw him keep." Uh kind of touching a spot on his belt or something like that. We had some uh, some famous cases in the U.S. Of, of pitchers trying to do whatever they can to scuff up the ball or oh, put yes. Vaseline or anything on the ball to get that little, little extra we extra kick off the ball. Right, which we do want to say they did not find anything here. But They I did not, but uh, <laughs> that's the first I've seen uh, that kind of check. Do you think they're just trying to play tournament. with this? Play with his head a little bit? It could be. It could be. Maybe they saw something. I remember the famous case of Phil Necro, who had that emery board hidden in his uh, pocket. 
<laughs> yeah, he's gonna scuff the ball up. Mike Scott, another one who is famous for doing that. So Johnson takes his time getting back on the mound now. Wondering what the heck that was all about, perhaps. Looks in at the hitter, uh, Cardoso. One out here, 5-5 five, five tie. Always, never a dull moment. Swing and a miss. 0-1 is the count. So Cardoso's one for three with an RBI tonight. Boosted his average to 522. Johnson takes his time on the mound. He's a slow, deliberate pitcher. Pitches it in. And a hit right to the shortstop. On to first. Cardoso hustles his butt off to get down there, but just misses and is, is thrown out. Well, they're making some contact with the ball this inning, just uh, hitting them right to the middle infielders. That's right. And that'll bring up to the plate number six. That's Alex Schmidt. Alex Schmidt hitting 176. Struck out in first. Struck out in the third. Grounded to the shortstop in the sixth. Tough game. Johnson in. Gets himself a ball on that. Still looking for the Emery board. Not seeing one. Pitch. And a number out to first base. Colabelle takes it on a hop, and he goes to first, and the inning's over. So Bond goes one, two, three, and the score remains 5-5 as we head to the bottom of the eighth inning here in Bond. Welcome back to Bond. It's 5-5. It has been a 5-5 for a, an inning now. Uh, we find ourselves in the bottom of the eighth. And at the plate is uh, Reginato Mattia. We're batting 235 in the tournament. Over one today with a run. Bases on ball. Strikeout and sacrifice. Bunt. Still on the mound is Steigert. He is... Uh, he of the sidearm delivery has had a bit of a struggle early on when he came on. Managed to get out of the last inning. And another number, but this time down to third base. Quick throw to first. He's out. One down on the uh, on that play. Just a routine play for uh, Eric Brent at third. Deep, man. That's good. exactly what they're hoping he'll do with this uh, kind of the ball kind of with the sidearm kind of drops at the last second and uh, that leads to a lot of ground balls. That'll bring Federico Celli to the plate. He's batting 214. 0 for 2 on the day with an RBI run, strikeout, sacrifice fly. Steiger delivers. Swing. Adam fooled on that one. Still trying to see if he's just having that one pitch. It's uh, if he has a second pitch, it doesn't move much more than his uh, than his uh, normal fastball. 
but it's uh, just throwing the sidearm. It takes a bit of adjustment for the hitters. That's a ball. Yeah, you're right. I mean, he's come in. Uh, he, he struggled at off the top when he came in. But since then, done a pretty good job. Yeah, I think he's had one hit off him yeah. in the last inning. And another foul. One and two. So this is the point uh, with one and two to keep it out of the strike zone. Try you want to burn one watch here. these uh, these Italians. Yep, you good hit something to hit. They'll hit it a long way. Yes, they will. We've had evidence of that a few times today. And oh, a close call, but the umpire says. Not close enough for a strike, and it's two and two. Yeah, I'll be on the side of the German fans here. That looked good to me. Unfortunately, they only pay us the big dollars to do the announcing and not the umpiring, but we are available. We should say that if they uh, if they want to pay us lots of money to do that umpiring That's the job. best view in the house, I guess. <laughs> Indeed it is. Steiger looking at his catcher. Steps off the mound. Batter steps out. Readjust, gets back in there. And another foul. Two and two is a count, one out here. Five five, Germany and Italy. Eighth inning. Looking ahead to the top of the ninth, uh, we have the top of the order coming up for Bon Schultz, Gring, and Lutz. So we want to keep it close here. Give himself a good chance at the top of the order coming up. Uh, ball on that. That ball was just, just low. Nice pitch by Steigert, just out of the strike zone. Pitch comes in for a ball, and he, walk, he loses him. He was ahead on the count, and off he goes to first base. So walk off, uh, sorry, lead off, second hitter, not the lead off, takes a walk, Shelly. So one on and uh, one out for the Italians. Sebastiano Poma coming to the plate. Poma struck out. Flew at first. And a hit into right field. Should be easily caught, and it is. By Annan out in right field. And the two out now in the inning. Nice play out there. Yeah, not playing. The, well, they would be playing perfectly as there was yeah. a lefty at bat. So uh, right there to make that out, getting us the two outs. So uh, I'm guessing they're hoping Steigert will make it through the inning. Maybe they'll bring in a closer for the ninth. Yeah, and so that'll bring to the plate Andrew uh, Maggie. He likes to fly out to uh, center field. I have him doing so uh, three times today and striking out in the first. Runner takes his lead, first base. We still have Chelly out there. Uh, he was walked. Catcher threatens, throw back first, does not. Steiger sets himself again. See Bond, players in the dugout above that green padding, cheering on their pitcher, urging him to get out of that inning, giving them a fighting chance as we head to the top of the ninth. Deadlocked at five here. And a foul back towards our way. See the Italians jump back from that padded fence. Yeah, the Italians are really making big swings off Stargard. I think they... Uh Ball looks like a big meatball out there. And yeah, but the problem is it drops at that last second. Yep. So it's a different motion of the ball than, uh, than a traditional uh, over the top pitcher. That's right. It looks so tempting to go after, and then the bottom falls out of her. And a number just over the Cardoso's head and second. Throw on to third base. The runner comes in, and he's in safe. 
They got the runner maybe. First, but no play. Holds on to the ball. So runners on the corners. Heads up play by Brank to, to, True. Uh, to grab that ball and not throw it. Because uh, it would have been a bad throw that could have led to a score. That's right. So many times, so many games are won or lost to throw that ball away, especially <laughs> well, in any of the games I play. That's a play, yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. <laughs> One throw too many is, yes. uh, has led to a lot of, lot of uh, errors. That's right. It's the uh, sweet Carolina comes on. They were on the uh, system here as uh, Vaglio comes to the plate. Runners on the corner, two outs. Steiger hoping to get out of the inning as the ball comes in for a ball. Well, still a chance to get out of this inning here for Steiger. Right, Bond's going to need this if they have any chance of uh, going ahead in the, uh, in the ninth, you know, being in the hole. Pitch, and a blast down the right field line. That is a foul ball. Just foul. Oh, on, on just off the, foul. Just right of the, of the first baseline. Yeah, that was, uh, was a nervous moment for many of the Bond fans. Yeah, that would have scored one. I don't think it would have scored the, the runner on first, but uh, that would have ended the deadlock at five. <laughs> Certainly would have. So Veglio today is uh, three, he's 3.20 in the tournament, one for four, uh, with two RBIs in the game. All of, all of these uh, Italian guys, uh, again, l dangerous hitters, as we've been saying all game, seeing those averages climbing. Steiger sets and delivers, and a grounder to the shortstop on the first base. And he gets them, and they get out of the inning, and you see Steiger pumping his fist. Enjoy as the Bond players leave the field. We head to the top of the ninth inning, deadlocked at five. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Bonn. Score 5-5, five, five. Italy and Germany. Find ourselves bottom of the ninth inning. So, Andrioli is at the plate for Team Italy. 368 average for the tournament. Oh, for three on the day, and he takes a strike on that pitch. Steiger still on the mound for Germany. He's pitched rather well over the last few innings. Sidearm delivery in for another strike, going two. So Germany certainly giving uh, Italy a run for their money here today. Still hoping, of course, to pull out the win. Got to get through this bottom of the ninth first. Off speed pitch comes in uh, for a ball. Looked like a change up there. Mm -hmm. Not far off the plate, but called the ball. Check swing down to first, says he strikes out. Round, and there's one down in the bottom of the ninth. That'll bring up. That was a tight one. It looked, it looked like he was able to hold up, but uh, the first base umpire, first base, I first base coach is talking to him. He would didn't dis disagree. Uh, looked like he held up even in the replay, but you. Uh, you know this is baseball. Calls like that even in the MLB cannot be cannot be reviewed. It's a tough one. Uh, anyway, that brings up uh, Chris Colabello, he of the uh, type who hit a ball. Let's see how what he does for the first pitch here. Yeah, exactly. Back to the second baseman who grabs it and throws it on the first. Two out. Nice play on that by Cardinals. The second baseman makes it look easy as pie. Well, he lit in his last at bats, he was uh, taking the first pitch, but he was ready to swing there. That's right. <laughs> but Steiger's a uh, ground ball pitcher. That's exactly what he did. That's his job. So that brings to the plate uh, Giuseppe Mazzanti, who has uh, had uh, he's had a very productive game today. He's been a powerful at the plate uh, for sure. A couple singles comes in for a strike. And just in case uh, there's anyone who doesn't know the rules, this is the bottom of the ninth. So uh, home run here or any sort of score by the uh, by the Italians would be would, would end the game. That's right. Steiger on the mound trying to make sure that doesn't happen. So I think a lot of the Italians might be looking for the walk-off home run, which is a hero a hero shot. But uh, once you start trying for those fences, though, that's a that's a tough one. Tough to control the bat. 
And the pitch comes in for ball, so two and two. And yeah, another. I think you try and play that hero, which of course sometimes happens. Uh, you tend to, one of the toughest things to understand about baseball, sometimes when you try too hard, the results are worse. And that's a tough thing for a non-baseball fan to understand, but nevertheless is true sometimes. Well, the harder you swing, the less accurate or uh, with hitting the ball. Three and two now, the count, full so. count and one out. Off speed pitch. Lots of. Yeah, but he's keeping the, he's, he's, he's uh, covering the plate, not throwing too many down the middle. No. Because he knows the power of the, uh, of the uh, Italian team. And there, looks like they're bringing in a pinch runner here. For 27, uh, no. Oh, good luck with that you last name. You get to pronounce that name. Oh, we were I can, I'll, I'll try this you one. This is it, one of the long they, ones. We, we were talking about this name in front of the game. I call him Big A. Uh, Big K, sorry. Kuto <laughs> I'm going to take a wild guess, Oli. I'm going to say. Kuto I'm going to take a wild guess. We'll just call him Aldo. And say that he's That's his from, first uh, name. So yeah. Aldo's. Aldo. I think that's of Greek origin. I'm just going to go on the uh, limb there. Anyway, Aldo, as we call him, is now first base. He's now at first base for pinch runner. They're looking for speed on the... With two outs, it'll be interesting to see if they try the steal. I don't think uh, Italians have done that yet. He's got that running glove on. You know he's serious, he's got that big blue oven mitt. We're either going to steal a base or bake a pie. A mighty swing into and center field, and that ball is gone. Hits the light standard, and this game is over. As the Italians rush onto the field to congratulate Alberto Meneo, who has just won this game for Italy by a score of 7-5. to five. He rounds the bases. His teammates are waiting for him at home. Hops on the plate. Look, the Germans, uh, as the, we watch the Italians celebrate uh, this quarterfinal win, we have to say the Germans played a hell of a game. Yeah, they really did. They came out strong, um, scoring four runs in the first inning and held, held the Italians until the sixth inning. Uh, but as the Italians have showed in every game they played uh, this week is... Uh, they got some strong bats and uh, one, one pitch just like that. I said it. I said they were going to be swinging for the, for the fences. And that's exactly what Maneo did there. And uh, he gets the, the hero's welcome at home plate. Yeah, and that was, there was no doubt about that. It was a moon shot under a full moon. And it, it, it did. It hit the light standard out in, uh, out in center field. As we see the players now come together for a handshake. Bond has nothing to hang their heads about in this game. Uh, they were Germany. <laughs> At least I'm consistent throughout the game in getting that wrong, Ollie. You're right. Yeah. Uh, as uh, Germany really put in a, in yeah. a great effort. Germany with it. nine hits, Italy with ten. So they, they were able to... Uh, uh, keep the Italians honest through the game but uh, I think the difference was uh, was Johnson coming in and he really he really shut down the Germans in the last few innings so uh, they uh, couldn't get anything off him really yeah okay so thank you for, to all you who uh, tuned in today and don't forget there's more games tomorrow and on behalf of Oli and all the producers uh, who are involved in today's game at Cloud TV and beyond uh, thank you very much for joining us, and uh, more fun tomorrow. Yeah, this is, uh, you can say your, net, your full name. I'm Oli Tangan Jr., so thank you for, for, for listening in. And I'm Brent Kerrigan. More tomorrow. Good night. Good night. And the summertime will be staying
Robin, you had a great and tremendous start into this game, but at the end, you're probably disappointed, right? Very disappointed. Uh, I think we were very close to beating Italy, knocking them out of the tournament. Uh, so, yeah, very disappointed. Um, I think we could have played a little bit better, maybe win that game right there. What have been the, the injuries that were missing? I mean, it was, it was really just that one inning um, where we couldn't control their offense the way that we needed to. Uh, gave up a few too many runs. Um, if we can manage to stay ahead, um, we got a we got a great chance to, to win that game. So um, yeah, I mean it was one inning. The, the walk off uh, home run. I mean that can happen um, if we can manage to to stay ahead earlier. Uh, I think we we could win that game. You think you can cheer up the team now for going ahead and, and having fifth place in, in in mind? Yeah, I think um, I mean everyone's going to be disappointed tonight. Um, but we still got something to play for, um, and we want to we want to qualify for the tournament in Italy coming up. So we're gonna give it every everything that we have, um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm confident that we can we can qualify. So with the start tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, right? Yeah, it, uh, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna try to be over it by the time we get on the, uh, off the bus. Uh, it's gonna be very difficult, um, but by tomorrow morning, I'm sure we're gonna have our uh, focus on that next game. Thank you, Simon Göring, captain of the national team Germany. Thank you.